great. You've been snatched from existence by a tentacled beast lurking beneath the grate. You feel the painful sting of digestive fluids. Or if maybe the spear would be easier. Ah! Oh, jeez. You can't stop me. <sighs> I thought Jedi were powerful. This is the end. Oh! Reported in your area, potentially armed and hostile. Wow! Received. Mobilizing now. Out. That was brutal! Holy crap! We are on track to try and find the Death Star. Grand Mock Tarkin will be outraged. Someone has stolen precious data from inside the Grand Moffis. <laughs> the Grand Moffis, I love it. That's right, it's called the Grand Moffis. Now, don't just stand there looking at me. Go retrieve those stolen plans. The thief fled in an ATST, so get moving! Right. Sorry. So how did they catch you? Got hungry. Bought some noodles. I don't even know where to start. Grunt, you apologize to the nice man for setting his car on fire. Fine. I'm sorry for setting your car on fire. So lucky. And holy crap, that right goal. All of your family loses 15 opinion of King Sancho the <laughs> Second. Ends King Sancho the Second scheme to murder you. I have been captured and detained against my will by King Sancho. I am no longer free to return to my home or travel as I wish. This is going great. This is fantastic. Hey! Hey! That's my tank! starting to see the flaw in my carefully prepared plan here. Alone. We are a good team. Don't you think so? Oh! oh. Oh, look at the coloration. He looks amazing. Or she, I'm not sure which. Okay, I'm Isaac. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. Dinosaur, but remember who would you That's the Carlos, you fucker.
Thank you for saving me. You're braver than I am, Worlder. Maybe we outcasts have lived too long in selfish fear. <laughs> uh <-huh>. Damn. <laughs> um. Oh my god, it's Guybrush Threepwood. Very nice. <laughs> wow! They're not joking at all. Holy crap. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, something did screw up. There was a liquid rocket phase that was not actually supposed to get ejected there. <laughs> Other than that, it seems to be a bit of a death trap for poor Jeb, because I just realized I replaced the parachute with this control unit, so he wouldn't have to be here. <laughs> uh... <laughs> oh my god, the charging of the boar. Oh, oh. Uh oh. Auto drive now disabled. I'd better back off. <laughs> I did not expect it to get the Albion truck. That's amazing. Can we go now, please? Oh, crap. Uthgird. You made it mad at me. Oh, <laughs> <sighs> I'm right behind you. Say, did you promise to do anything for me? I am sworn to carry your burdens. That's what I thought. Nope. <laughs> okay, that's a new combat technique I had never considered before. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, that, nope, that, um. Actually working tonight, but I'll leave a lurk, probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again. It is really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh, oh, that was, ooh. Um, thanks, Auto Drive. Crap, it's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay, we're good. Hang on tight, tiny spider. Wait, how am I earning trophies? What the heck? I should already have gotten that. Mission. You have a rifle. Why do you run up to point blank range? Oh my god! Uh... Oh... <laughs> oh, hey, our headless friend is back again.
So it's not actually tied to the bridge then. Guard, guard, arrest this man immediately. Antwerps are on the endangered species list. They are rarely seen. Uh, that's funny. It bounced right off. You seem to have scared the Antwerp with your behavior. <laughs> You're obviously in no shape to continue the game. All right, guys, that went faster than I thought it would, but I am back. I've got tea made. I've had dinner. Let's get out of this shrine. Thank you, Sketchy. Thank you, Jessica. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will clear, cleanse you of evil. Exactly, Voidum. How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's had a fantastic weekend so far. I know there's not a whole lot of it left because I'm uncharacteristically streaming on a Sunday, but I hope you've all had a good one and uh, that you have some good plans for whatever remains of it for you. Unless you're actually already completely done with it. Oh, look at that. My arm is getting so much better now. Sp sent it, spent it in Lodz, Central Poland. I'm sorry for my pronunciation. On a work-related training course. Oh, that's fun. Ish. Hopefully it was fun. It was, oh, it was fun with games and stuff. You know, the corporate trust exercises. Okay, that's not so bad. Good food, too. Very nice. Doing splendid. Awesome, Sketchy. I'm glad to hear that. Okay, now I have long since run out of my cold resistance, so we're going to have to take a look at that again. Uh, where are we? I'll just eat that one. Am I still freaking cold? Oh, God. Okay, let's get out of here. I'm just going to teleport. No. Where are we? Oh, we're way the heck out here. Okay. Let's go back to Terrytown, actually. They have fun stuff there that I would like to add to my auto-build. <clears throat> Walked into a glass door and I'm still on painkillers because your whole face hurts. Oh no. It looks like you got punched. I'm so sorry, Voidum. That sounds miserable.
Now, hmm. There's no way you can go into auto build and edit your recipes, right? It bothers me that I built the car wrong and now it's stored as a recipe that I can recreate. Okay. Car broke down in the middle of a completely traffic jam center of 500,000 population. Oh, God. That sounds miserable, too. Then I'd be late for the train. A friend of, of mine who lives in the city met me for a coffee and to drive you to the station. Oh, that's cool. So kind of a mixed bag. Some really bad, some pretty good, it sounds like. Couldn't go in reverse because of mechanical failure, but you did make it. Oh man, it sounds like that was quite the adventure. Shoot, you know what? I have no more control units. We're gonna have to fix this. It was much more of an adventure than you thought it would be. That's how adventures tend to happen, though. You rarely plan for everything in an adventure unless you're the dungeon master. <clears throat> and even then, it never goes according to plan. But it does, but then you wake up. Big wheel, small wheel, steering stick, yay, okay. Nope. <laughs> Get real long. Rockets. Not what I need, but I will take it. small wheel, fan, fan. Come on. Give me the good stuff. <laughs> fan, big wheel, small wheel, rocket, big wheel. It's giving me everything but the one piece I want a few of. Starting to feel lucky it gave me one at all. <laughs> 
Damn it, I've only got three left. Come on. Big money. Rocket, small wheel. Oh, I got one more steering stick. Okay. I don't suppose there's a steering stick just kind of lying around here somewhere, actually. That would be cool, too. Then I wouldn't have to use them out of my inventory. But I don't think I'm going to get that lucky. Construction site cave. get in there. I want it. I don't think I can just go up. I mean, I could try. No, this is going outside. Oh, you can go back down. That's hilarious. There's got to be another entrance to this, then. Can't help but notice that there is a what looks like a cave entrance over that away. I suppose it's not impossible they could be connected. Or there's this. Yeah, this is the other side. Oh, 
Unfortunately, this side doesn't seem to get me any closer to getting in there either. Unless maybe... It looked like there was a corridor. Maybe there's something leading off. With a third entrance. Like a well, perhaps. Small wheel, small wheel, small wheel, a fan, a rocket, another steering stick, so I've got three, and a small wheel. That's not half bad. Not half bad at all. There we are. Unfortunately, no freebie steering columns around. Not that I'm seeing, at least. But that's okay. Did I beat what, Aranar? I At this point, I have forgotten what we were even trying to beat. Or do you mean the game? No, I haven't beat it yet. It's going to take a few minutes longer than we expected. Huh. 
Oh god, it does. Uh, we're gonna set this as a favorite. Can we delete these by any chance? Jesus, the history is ridiculous. Have you considered using a mount yet, or are you still a naysayer on that? If you want to get really, really, really technical, Aranlar, I did use a mount once briefly in this game. Somebody needed to fix up a wagon and attach a horse to it, so I had to go tame a horse and bring the horse to her. So I actually voluntarily rode a horse for like five seconds. I'm going to make a greeny special here. I'm not really capable of using it yet because I don't have the battery power to sustain it. But I'm going to do my best. I'll at least have it ready for when I've got more battery power available. That's not going to do it. Why do you not want to attach the right way? Yep, that takes a bit of practice. Now let me just check and see if I actually ended up with that as my auto-build object. Yeah, it wants to build it with the board, unfortunately. <clears throat> I mean, there are worse ways you could build it, I suppose. Oh, well. At least we've got the right parts, even if it's a little bit extra.
What are you doing here, sir? What's going on, Aranlar? Is Twitch being twitchy? Oh. I was going to stop and recharge a little bit, but I think that's maybe not the greatest idea. Call up a raid ground ruins. <clears throat> Ow. Very rude, sir. It started looping and you're using the app. Interesting. didn't realize your map settings control which mini-map you're on, too. That's interesting. This looks somewhat ungood. <clears throat> I don't think we're getting over that. Oh. Um. Oh, actually, it's better at reversal than I thought it was. I genuinely like this vehicle design. It's really fun. I expect we'll be able to make it better. <clears throat> Link needs to meet Bennett so you can do some getting over it. <laughs> You're not wrong. <clears throat> You are so lucky, Wolf. Well, it lasts a lot longer than it did before, even though my new battery bit only gave me one single bar, which still kind of annoys me. But progress is progress. progress we're making from here, though. The most important progress, of course, is that now I've got this vehicle design as part of auto-build. So I can theoretically, as long as I have enough zonite, I can make it anywhere, anytime.
wonder if I can drive it straight up a steep wall. I'm gonna guess no. But science demands an attempt. That's a no. <laughs> That's definitely a no. Oh, I wonder if I can navigate that bridge. Barely. Oh my god. My car is as big as the bridge is. Oh! Oh, no. Oh, oh. Oh, uh. Sploosh. Uh. See if I can rescue it. I like that the tires float. Oh, no, I can't from here. It's a very slow boat now, I suppose. Come on. Damn it. Need a place I can just stand. Oh, I think my car is gone. Current's taking it too quickly now. Yeah. Bye, car. It was fun. We. That's the destination we have to get that big green chunk of rock that I bought, to. Maybe this will drift up on shore. I can flip it over, maybe attach some bits of wood to make it into a paddle boat. And we might actually be able to get that thing done. Oh, except no. Because as soon as I did that... I'd have to get back up to Terrytown to get the piece of rock, and as soon as I left, this thing would just disappear. Which is unfortunate, but there you go. Is there anything down there? Not really. No, okay. 
We are still making movement progress here. Or we were. Okay, fine. Oh, is it? No, it's not caught on anything. Well, it was fun. I'll have to see if I can survive the swim to shore. I mean, technically I can, because if I start getting too low on stamina, I can just teleport to a nearby shrine or the that tower directly ahead. But... That's okay. There are a few other vehicle types that I would like to attempt to add to my auto build anyway. Oh, I'm cutting it pretty close here. I don't think I'm going to make it. I think we're going to have to do it. We're going to teleport. Bye, car. It was fun. Well, I kind of blew it on the height gain bit, but I gained a little bit at least. I want to see if I can do one better and build that construction without having to have the wooden platform on it. So I'm going to need another control stick. Not what I had in mind. It's kind of backwards, isn't it? How does this have to go? It's kind of angled down from the front, so it's got to be... this, I think. No, that can't be right. No. 
No, that's backwards. Okay. Not if you want to be able to control the direction you're going in. Close. Not quite it, though. It really does, Aaron, though. It really, really does. This has to go here. No. I think it was... This is confusing. I'm usually pretty good at spatial orientation problems, but... I'm not familiar enough with this. Yeah, basically the same as Greenie's bike. But this has to be like this. And that has to be like that. So this has to connect to that edge right about there. Oh, 
Um, yeah, okay, small problem. That's extremely close to what I need. But the second fan is actually preventing it from working because I can't stand firmly on the seat. Might be better. Yes, that'll do it. Except that looks a little misaligned now. It eats through battery like nothing else, though, is the problem. <laughs> oh, there is a control stick right here. God, I wish I had known about that. Thank you, Aaron Laura. Okay, it's probably useful to have one of these little doohickeys here. Or not. Uh, okay, so it needs some method of propulsion. Three minute warning, guys, by the way. Ads coming up in about three minutes. So I guess I will cancel the favorite on that because that's an incomplete. But if you were to throw, like, a fan on the back of that thing, that would work. And, of course, I used the two fans. Nope. Realistically, it doesn't actually matter, but I kind of want to use the one that I took out of my inventory, so let's... this one. We'll put that there. Real basic, dirt cheap, simple ground transport. Probably gets really good battery life too, but we'll find out. Sorry, buddy. Oh my god, it's fast! Holy crap! And actually, it seems to go through battery pretty good, too. Hey, Mr. Zoggy Ramen. No, no suspension on this one. No siree. How are you doing? Yeah, it, 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 it's a bit too fast for quick steering, unfortunately. Now, we do have ads starting in just a few seconds, actually, so... Oh, 
Why are you... I think it's possessed, guys. Are you okay? Alright. Alright. I'm going to be back in about three and a half to five minutes, folks. I'm going to run some ads. If you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. Okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I, I may have changed my mind. I actually kind of like this. This has some real potential. Did you ever build a castle in the air? Here is one. Brought down to earth and fixed for the wonder of ages. I forgot I was building the Taj Mahal. <laughs> Crap, now where'd it go? Oh, jeez! <laughs> well, I'm dead. doesn't seem to be able to get me. Oh, I may have spoken too soon. I might also be stuck. Whoops. You have just been blown into bite-sized chunks by a Sarian spider droid. Oh, sorry, Jeb. Did I forget the minor matter of the parachute? Maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's... Oh. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, what? Please somebody clip that. Holy... Please! Yes, please uh. clip that! Oh my god! <laughs> There we go. Oh. There we now we there we go. <laughs> Oops. There we go. I'm back. <laughs> You've seen your share of flying ships? Nice. That was the first for me. And for Aaron, Laura, and Nabi, I believe. Okay. Um.
Watercraft might not be a terrible idea, actually. Thank you, Aranor. This is going to be terrible. It's not going to work. It's going to be atrocious, but it should be fun. biggest problem is I don't know if we have the pieces around here to make this the way I'm picturing it. Yep, this is going to be the worst ride ever. Oh, I need that wheel up more. It actually does not use things in capsules. You have to pull them out if you want it to use those. It will use stuff in the environment around you, though. If, the, if something that you need for a recipe is not in the immediate surroundings, you can still make it, but only if you have enough zonite to make up the difference. 
Uh, we don't really have... I think this is going to be pretty ridiculous. No, it's... This is going to be impossible to control properly. It's going to be terrible. But I like it and we're doing it. Just the worst. It sort of worked. Come on. You can do it. You can make it. Oh my god, this is terrible. <laughs> it works better on land than it does in the water. That's truly something special, I think. God. I wonder if we can improve the design by getting to some place that actually has some workable parts that we could use to make this a little more viable a build. There's got to be one of those, you know, high rule reconstruction effort supply stations nearby, right? We can probably go by this encampment without worries. They're going to take one look at this thing and flee in terror anyone brave enough oh there's one anyone brave enough to travel in oh um that's awkward <laughs> to travel in this is probably somebody they don't want to mess with and we're off That's not... Nope, I'm wrong. That's not a build station. There's got to be one around here somewhere. Maybe, actually, we're going to see if I can turn around and go back to Terrytown proper. Oh. Back it up. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Soggy Ramen. It was meant to be a paddle boat. I ran out of parts, though. So we're going off on land in search of new parts. It only sort of worked in the water. It's a little frightening just how much better it is on land than it is on the water right now. Sure? I, I don't know. I've never seen an ATV designed this way before. 
Then again, I'm sure the people that design ATVs have more sense than this. Oh! We haven't seen you in a while, sir. Oh, yeah. Okay, they've got some good parts I can put to use here. For better or worse. Alright, what do we got here? Alright, that should be easy. Let's, let's grab this. Stick you right there. Watch your hands, sir. Thank you. We need this. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put that there. Might work a little better. Nope. Oh, but you know. It's very stubborn. Dragon parts like scales, claws, and horns have the largest despawn radius. If you put one on your vehicle, you can go up to 2,000 units away. I don't want to know that kind of stuff, though, Mr. Soggy Ramen. The game will teach me. work. Well, let's give it a try. I'm actually not confident about this one. I think it's going to fall. Okay, there you go. Well, it depends on how you play the game. You can make it teach you that stuff. I suppose it is good to know, but the thing that really irks me isn't that it despawns when you move away so much. It's more that you don't get to keep the vehicle even if you, you're you standing right on it, in control of it. You save your game, you quit, you load the game back up. It's nowhere to be found. It's just gone. They don't save. That frustrates me. It frustrates me less now that I've got auto-build, but it still frustrates me. 
Auto build with a crap ton of zonite is what you need, at least until the DLC that lets you capsule your builds. That would be really nice. Now let's see what this travesty's like. I'm a little afraid to test it on land now. Maybe, maybe, maybe it would actually work on land. Who knows? I certainly don't. I think we're going to test it in the water first. That's going to be painful enough. Oh, God. Ugh. Well, it's better. Ish. We're not going to set any nautical speed records. This is not exactly a stealthy vehicle, I've got to say. The only well-known Canadian ex-Navy Navy person is bald. Are you talking about Captain Stubing? I don't think it's really necessary, Mr. Soggy Roman. I'm having a lot of fun just doing my own thing. Wasn't he one of the uh, whose line is that anyway guys? We're making very, very slow progress, but we are making progress. He, he is, and he served in the Can I didn't know that. That's cool. Oh. This is so ridiculous, guys. <laughs> Thank you. 
It probably would be Aradharm. That's more parts I would have to go finding, though. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe eventually. Do mean stable, no clue about speed? I don't know if there's much that can be done for the speed of this particular device. I suspect this is probably just never going to be the method of choice for getting around. Not exactly the definition of smooth sailing here. Terrytown Tunnel. <laughs> hmm. I don't really have anything to fuse it to, do I? I think I've only got one thing that's going to be usable as a rock breaker then much as I hate to use this to break rocks. Up. Oh. Gotcha. I think I just accidentally solved a problem. Ma. Oh, thank you. Not being able to open that door was really starting to annoy me. So a cutout was blocking the door. Well, I appreciate your help getting it out of the way. I'll just move these back out so they can't go and block the door again. Can you imagine Mokri in the Navy, though? He'd be a beacon with his head. He probably had hair then. Whew, that should do it. Oh. They're a bit banged up, so I was planning on throwing them out, but you're welcome to them, too. Great. Uh, thanks. Now, if my boat still happens to be there, we could spend the next three hours attempting to get this to where it needs to be. It's not there. It's probably just as well, let's be honest. That was a bit of a travesty. Okay. I'm an optimist, what can I say? No, I don't think so. It's an island that we have to get it to.
Oh no! Oh right, he's he does have the control thing there. What's in the sky? I sh really should check those out at some point. Got to figure out how to get there though. Smaller bits of wood around here, sir. Five years later, hey, I got my paddle boat working. Exactly. Nope. In its own way, I kind of expect this to be just as bad. to work. It's faster. A lot less bumpy. So let's have a look at this place we need to get this to. You're right, that's not actually an island, is it? So it's a hidden shrine. Interesting. Get back here. Okay. Well, that's doubly interesting. Let's take a look at this on the map, then. So, since this is all made of materials that came from that building construction thing, I can just ride the little vehicle, the, the rail car thing, back up to Terrytown, retrieve the stone, rebuild it using auto build, and I won't need any zonite because all the materials are on hand. So, I don't need to worry about it disappearing off me. I probably just need to gather everything into a, uh, you know, a nearby space, I would guess. Come on, you can do it. I believe. Keep going. You got this. Keep it moving. Come 
Come on. A little further. Almost there. Seems to dress, drain less per meter. Add an extra three wheels for security. Oh boy. I don't think it likes this. I guess we're walking it down there. That'll be fun. Oh, wait. They have materials here. No, oh, okay, never mind. They have materials, but none of them are wheels. I was thinking I'd just build a quick little wagon to get it down there, but that doesn't seem like it's going to happen. But the one where we just helped out what's-his-name with uh, the sign, that's nearby. We might be able to make something there. It doesn't have to be fancy, it just has to be something I can control to get down there. doesn't even have to be something to, that I need to control, now that I think about it. Oh. Okay, let's not get too close to him. They're gutsy, building this close to the town. There we go. Can I not... Crap, I don't think I can push this. Uh, I thought I could push it. Damn. Maybe I can. Maybe I just need something to push against. Yeah. 
Nope. <laughs> A horse could pull it. That's true. Or, alternatively, I have a wild and crazy idea. I could do this. I mean, that was my last control stick, in fairness, but... Uh... Right, these wheels, they have no power. Fortunately, I have no shortage of fans. This actually works surprisingly well. Oh. Mostly. It does not reverse. <laughs> it steers okay. It has no capability to reverse on its own, though. Which could be a problem. I mean... Just for the sake of transporting... Oh, crap. Why do I always run out of power right by these guys? And go. 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 There we go. I think you might be onto something there, Aranor. Honestly, I, I believe that. Wow, this is not the most energy-efficient car I've ever built. Mind you, it is lugging around this gigantic green stone, too. That probably has something to do with it. did I need for my thing? I needed... I needed this. that I need. Two fans aboard. I needed, um... I needed one of these, didn't I? That was probably all I needed. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it includes... <laughs> it includes that. That's actually hilarious. Uh, where were my favorites? They're all up here. 
Oh, did I not favorite my boat? It, in <laughs> it included that. That's actually hilarious. That's pretty cool. I like that. Oh. I want to see if I can just leave that unattached. Nope. I don't think I can leave that unattached. I don't know, actually. We can try that at some point. Mr. Soggy Ramen, do you have any insight there? I wouldn't consider that a spoiler or anything. You know, having the weight up front actually seems to help it steer, weirdly enough. I found the same thing with the wagon. offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Oh, this is going to be one of those ones where you don't have to complete a puzzle because just getting the freaking crystal here is puzzle enough, I'm sure. For forward wheel drive versus rear, yeah. True, Mr. Soggy Roman. Yep, sketchy. We did indeed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Raru's Blessing, Jochi Ihiga Shrine. Diamonds, nice. The most precious ore one can find. Would you call it an ore? I guess you... Yeah, I guess so. Its signature sparkle has charmed Hyruleans for generations. As such, it is sold for a very high price since ancient times. That's our first diamond, guys. No, this is the first hidden one. For me, at least. Visitor to this shrine of light, that which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil.
Of course, in modern Hyrule, they know about diamond cartels and see them as worthless carbon outside of a few industrial purposes. Wow. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. That was a pretty fun one. I, I like that one. I know there are more. Oh, crap. My boat's gone again. Damn it. Oh, well. Uh, where to now? Maybe back to Lookout Landing for a minute. You see a spot? What do you mean by a spot? X marked it. Oh, yeah. I had given up on that one. Could always try it again, I suppose. Um, let me just check my shields. It was a pain in the butt, though. It was the like like monster things, you know, the rock worms. There were two of them right in one spot, and they're really annoying. I would kind of like to go up against them again once I've got a little more in the way of armor, I think. What is this? Oh, this is the thing that uh, Pura used. The thing that looks like it's built out of an um, old guardian casing. Carson. Hey, Link. Guess I'm not surprised to see you zooming around even on a rainy day. I've been sorting out whether or not I can build a mini stable and look out landing. Lester has come here to care for the horses, so it'd help him out a lot if he had a proper stable. The project will likely take me a while to complete. But once it's done, you'll be able to take full advantage, Link. So is that a thing that we can contribute to? I mean, not that it's going to do me much good. The goddess statue of the Spring of Wisdom is troubled by her inability to sense the mother goddess statue in the vast canyon. She asked... Whoops. She asked you to check on the statue and return with your findings. I guess we could try to go visit the fish people. I mean, it seems to kind of be pushing us toward the Dorito Village stuff. But we need gear for that. So maybe what we need to do is... 
I'm gonna need zonite. I wonder. Let's see how much zonite I need, roughly. If I wanted to remake my fancy schmancy car. Only 18. I mean, I can see that adding up a lot. But 18's not that bad. I could probably spend a few minutes down in the uh, depths and come up with 18. I probably don't even need to go to the depths. I could probably get that on the Sky Island if I really wanted to. At least it's not Addison building this stable. You are not wrong, Mio. How's it, how's it going? It's good to see you. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, if I remember correctly, wasn't Carson the assistant of, uh, what was his name, Bilson or Bolson in the first game? The guy that was basically in charge of uh, upgrading your house and all? I'm pretty sure this guy used to travel around with him and help him out. Wasn't too much of a big-time character in his own right. Oh, it tells me the numbers. No need to worry about that. No need to worry about that at all. Well, actually, that's the wrong one. We should go to the proper mine if we're going to go looking for Zonite. Three minute warning, by the way, guys. Next break is up in three minutes. Great Abandoned Central Mine. I'm a little surprised. I thought it was going to be more expensive than that. So if we actually take a look at some of the others, what is that? Okay. Hmm. That one's actually pretty cheap. The boat is the most expensive of them so far. And that's just about as expensive. That's interesting. Okay, so we've got what looks like a rail system down here, too. It kind of looks that way, Aaron Larm. I don't suppose they've got any rail carts here. Let's grab... Oops, no. Let's grab one of these fans. see any rail carts. That's a shame. Whoops. I really wish you could. I am hoping that it actually does come to pass that the DLC gives you like maybe this big quest chain for the ability to capsule things. That would be so cool. That would be really amazing. But it looks like break is about to start, so we're going to have ads running. I'm going to take a quick break and run some clips while those are going, so nobody's going to miss anything. If you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack or something, this is a really good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in three and a half to five. You will be safe, <laughs> Hello there. 
<laughs> Y'all move. Oh my. Really auto drive? Again? There you are. What? Ruined. That was a perfectly lined up shot. <laughs> Wait. Wasn't I just using Obi-Wan? Do it. Climb tree. This tree is dead and seems to be free of the slick secretions some of the others generate. You begin to shimmy your way up the snag. Crack. <laughs> Holy log jams, Batman. You almost ate the big one. Well, I mean, that was kind of what I was thinking we needed to do, though not the way I was expecting to do it. I'll skin you and make a purse for my wife! Probably Bye -bye. should have taken advantage of that, but that was too funny. This place. And maybe somebody was experimenting with cannons on the island or something. Whoa! What? 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 It's. <laughs> Look at the sky! <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Oh my god! What? Please, somebody clip that. Holy. Please. Uh. Oh my god! <laughs> whoa. Yes, whoa. <laughs> okay, that... That was a little eerie. Leave her alone. Why do I always find the spider caves? what I thought. Bone horror. Yeah. Oh, God. I hate this. I don't like your attitude. I'd better teach you a lesson while I bleed slowly to death right in front of you. This is going to go great. Thank you. I owe you my life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tavik. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to... And I'm back. Okay, let's see. Thank you. I was just thinking that I could attach something small to a minecart so that it appears in my auto build. And it, if our guesses are correct, <clears throat> it should end up costing only six zonite. The problem, of course, is I don't have six zonite, so it wouldn't really help right now. But in theory, that's a way that I could deal with it for the future, at least. Uh, 
Oh, the, wow. The gloom affects the rails, too? What? They destroy them? Oh, that... Mm. That is rude as heck. Didn't want to spoil that? Yeah. Is there a way to get rid of the gloom? Oh, actually, I was just... I gotta remember, I can grab the stuff that's in the gloom. I don't need to go to the gloom. No, it's fine. It's fine, Mr. Soggy Roman. You can feel free to assume that unless I follow up and say I'm really asking, it's rhetorical. We go. Minecart. Now I kind of wish I had brought a fan. Oh.
Um, what could I usefully stick on a... Oh, what is that? Oh, that looks like a perfect boat skiff. That's awesome. I love it. Oh, here's some small stuff. What is that? Oh, a light. Oh, I need lights. That's cool. There we go. I should be able to summon them now. <clears throat> Sled boat platform for the wall pins. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Oof. Okay, so this was kind of a one-way trip. I didn't even notice on the way there that that was broken. That's cool though. I don't suppose there are tracks leading in other directions from here, are there? What does our map tell us? Oh, there is. There's another one over here, but there's another break in it. Oh, that's so cool that they include the tracks on the map. They don't indicate that it's broken, though. How dare they? Okay, well, that's all right. That's an interesting question as well, Aranor. I don't know. Oh my god. Stop it. Although that was basically free zonite, so I can't complain too much, I guess. There's a reason for that. Also, what's interesting to me is that Gord got to the Great Mine from the north. You came from the tracks in the west. Huh. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. Looks like we should be able to zip up through here. And there's a great big fat nothing here. All right. Is there anything that looks mineable for Zonite? Other than skeletons. I guess we can look backwards a little bit along the route that we came and off some. Basically sketchy, yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, actually, not so true. Is this nope. and it's starting to die? It's kind of a shame. Something over there. That's true. At least the Poe are good. Actually, there was another set of tracks near here, wasn't there? And I'll leave that attached. In case I want to use it. Oh. all this down here. Hang on. Those don't look like giant teeth or anything creepy like that. Leaving work? All right, Greeny. Congrats on making it through. 
more down there, too. This is a big area. I see. Those fans, they would probably propel this platform back up there, wouldn't they? Oh, jeez, don't fall down there. That's a long way down. I have to imagine my minecart contraption is gone now, but that's okay. In the third part to this trilogy, we get to Rome Hyrule Castle without it being in disarray. What makes you think they have a trilogy in mind? I don't think that Zelda typically does trilogies. They rarely do direct sequels at all. Yeah. It's happened. This is not the first time, but it, it's not the rule. Poe is a type of currency, yeah. I don't know what for yet. I've just been collecting it. Nice. It's still there. Hey, not bad. I'm impressed. It is, I believe, a huge ass statue. I think we're going back to the surface so that I can get my new battery bar.
I'm assuming that it'll be one with how successful. Well, that's a reasonable argument, honestly. It's hard to deny that Breath of the Wild was huge and Tears of the Kingdom, and people are already saying it's the best game of the entire franchise. And with a franchise as old and storied as this one, people don't say that lightly. If it's a huge ass statue, you should explore it. Oh, I'll be back. Don't worry. Oh, all you have to do is go back to the surface and you recover from gloom? Somebody ought to tell that to the people that are sick. You shouldn't still be sick. You're on the surface. You should be fine by now. Therefore, it's all your fault. Yes, please. It's all your fault for being gloomy. Just get some fresh air and sunshine. Sun sunshine, exactly. I would enjoy further visits from you. Not to worry, sir. I will be back. <clears throat> They are sketchy. They are hard. There are three main characters that Legend of Zelda centers around. Zelda, Ganon, and Link. We've had games that focus on the first two, but Link in these really just plays a part in the other. Yeah. Would a story centered around Link be that interesting, though? He really is pretty much just the guy that you kind of hang out with because he's the main character. He's your window into the world, your link to the world of Hyrule, as it were. Which is literally where he got his name from, by the way. Link was not intended to actually be a name, originally speaking. It was just... That was what they called him. Because he was the player's link to the game world in the first game. And then it just kind of stuck and became his name. I'd love to see Link further characterized, but I don't think he needs it. No, I really don't think he does. I think that's one of the enduring appeals of the series, is that Link is everyone and anyone. Okay, so we've got extra battery power. Now, of course, the problem is I don't have enough to summon my minecart thing. Of course, I could just go there without the minecarts. I think all my lights have gone away, too. Uh, let's reassess here. We want to go up that way and see if I can find evidence that there's a missing light route. So let's put a pin in that, quite literally, and see if I can find something that way. How you doing, Dark Him, by the way? In fact, this game does characterize him a bit. Okay. Well, Breath of the Wild did a very little bit as well. We got to know a bit about his backstory. 
Not huge amounts. Grand Poe. A glowing spirit orb found all over the depths. Offer these to a bargainer statue for rewards. They seem to possess vast power. And there's two of them just here. That kind of suggests that maybe I don't necessarily want to linger in this area too much, because it's got to be something scary. So I'm going to linger in this area. Because I don't listen to myself. Oh, jeez, I just noticed how low on arrows I'm getting. Just hit some story beats that actually made me feel some things. Oh, that's cool, Dark M. Could do something that involves Dark Link, low rule, time travel, and bring Link's adventure to a satisfying conclusion. But then they would have to make a new character. Who's going to play a Legend of Zelda character that does not involve Link? I mean, maybe if it involves Zelda, but... Good. I think people would riot. Which is not to say they shouldn't do it. I'm just saying they would have to take that into account, too. I forgot to make more food. Oh, God, there is one. It's right here. Why not just do a game through Ganon's perspective? You make it sound like a small thing to do that, but that would be a huge thing that Nintendo probably does not want to do. Glamorizing the villain is always a little bit iffy.
Great Plateau, East Chasm. That would be Age of Calamity. Hey, welcome back, Greeny. So that confirms that there was indeed a light route there, which also confirms that somewhere directly above, there should be a shrine. Cora dot light route. Got batteries, got rockets, got lights, got fans. Okay. Ooh, whoops. I will. Ooh. Oh, it's okay. I don't have to worry about that. It's just favorites. I don't think I need that as a favorite. Oh, God. Get out of here. Ow. So where does this line take me? Uh, which line is this, actually? I wish the shrines were as easy to find as the light routes. Well, <laughs> uh, it, it, I, I don't want to say anything too specific, but it's kind of funny that you should phrase it that way. It, it's that's I'll say that the game explained something right at the very beginning of the game that's highly relevant to that you know the light roots and the shrines are correlated okay good That was not an actual break in the tracks. That's fun. Oh, wait. Oh, that's that's nifty. It comes right back here? Oh, that's cool. I didn't even notice there was a frickin' rail platform there. Okay. But the surface shrines are complete are very commonly hidden in caves and can be a pain to locate. Yeah, that's fair. I still think you'd enjoy exploring the huge-ass statue. I mean, there's no real rush. The statue's not going anywhere. Or 
Or is it? I feel fairly confident that it's not going anywhere anytime soon. Okay, I gotta tell you. Oh. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I was a little underwhelmed, but okay, this is different. I am trapped under the water behind the stone gate of the Great Plateau. I've heard this before. Right, okay. We'll investigate that in due time. You're running out of game? Hi, uh, yeah, well... There's always more to do and more to explore, right? So even if you finish the story, I think you'll be alright. Now, how about this rail? Where does that go? That goes out there. So I think maybe we bring our nifty minecart of doom and gloom out this way. No. Wait, what was that? Oh, okay, just a weird light. Hilia Cannon Canyon Mine. You look at that. Pre built with a light and a fan and a battery? Such extravagance. And there's another track here, although it looks a little the worse for wear. It's a shame you can't repair them, or can you? Oh, you sons of guns.
It is greeny. No problem, Marinar. Not as exciting here as I was expecting. There. Now I've stolen that design and added it to my repertoire. You thought you recognized things? Yeah. Okay, so there's a light route right up there. You can go in the gloom. It's just an exceedingly terrible idea. It will hurt you and make it hard for you to heal. Now, I'm curious about this. What kind of stuff is in this? Oh, interesting. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like that design. Now, do we have any idea where those other tracks go? Well, now we know. <laughs> that was fun for about two seconds. It does gloom damage. Yeah, uh, you see where my hearts are, Sketchy? How one of my six hearts is gray and broken? That means that I have taken one heart's worth of gloom damage. It means that one of my hearts cannot be healed until I get rid of the gloom damage. So, my basically, my permanent number of hearts is reduced until I get that taken care of. So not really permanently, but semi-permanently.
Hang on, we need to explore this. What's going on here? Miner's trousers. The bioluminescent lamps on these trousers shed light on where you step. They come in handy when walking in darkness. I've seen people wearing those before. That's cool. Nope. Oh. Actually, that's good. That's very good. You was hoping you'd find this? Excellent. Uh, what do I want? I want... There we go. Is there anything more to this area? card go back that way whoops no wait come back no no geez it's fast nope get back here thank you Link. Thank you. Okay. Now we do have more batteries. So I'm going to take this and double stack. Oop, nope. There we are. gonna set you off the tracks because you don't want to stay put okay dying to see the old glider yeah I don't know how to do that I assume it's possible somewhere but maybe there's a particular NPC maybe you have to take it to Terrytown. I don't know I've got more batteries there 
Where are we? Okay, so we're back here. Or not Terrytown, I mean, um, Hotno Village with the die guy. He might be able to do it. Greenies, yeah, Hotno Village. So it is Hotno Village. Thank you, Greenie. Yeah, I got the original, uh, the, the wing pattern for the paraglider. I like the new one, but I want the original one. There we go. You like your Gleok? Oh, and uh, two minute warning on ad break, guys. I'll be taking a break in about two minutes. Okay, well, that was a pretty unsuccessful trip as... Uh, as, um... What you call it? As far as Zonite goes. I'm sure I got a little bit of it because I did have to take out a few skeletons. But we didn't get a whole heck of a lot. But that's okay. I got some new builder recipes in my workbook, so that's pretty good. I like that I can now do the lights and all that. I mentioned earlier that Zonite is in the mines. Yes, you did. That's why I was there. But I guess I haven't figured it out yet. Cart tracks are not mines. I'm going to have to disagree with you there on at least a semantic level though I admit that you're probably correct in a practical level cart tracks are above the mines okay well now that I've oh there's a golden apple right there You know, golden apples are pretty much everywhere for such a rare fruit. Where is... Someday, a second store. Ugh. Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop. Right, so you're a new customer, I think? Well, I don't do the dyeing around here. You want my hubby for that. All this activity is gonna, getting to be a problem. I mean, I'm grateful to Cece that our shop has taken off like this, but every day is so exhausting now. Uh. Greetings and saturations. Uh, okay, we'll have to continue this conversation in a minute. I need to take a break, so if you guys need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it. I'll meet you back here in just a few. Serana. Oh my god. She made me fall through the floor. Oh good. I... I... <laughs> Serana! Get out of the way. Oh, you jerk. You want to play with plasma? I'll show you how to play with plasma. That's how you play with plasma. It might seem strange, but it'll keep her safe from timefall and chiral contamination while allowing her to breathe. Excuse me. Uh... You okay, game? This is kind of the opposite of the problem I usually encounter. 
Instead of falling through the world, apparently I can just freely walk on top of it now. Oh, wow, yeah. Oh. This is Not so bad. cool. Is that the sea? No, it's water that's collected underground. Hey, there's a pontoon. People used to use this place. We're on the right track. I've never heard of it before. Ow. How did you not see me? Wow. In all the worst places, there are mushrooms. Coincidence? I think not. We're going to hit something. <laughs> that was the best timing ever. <laughs> Actually working tonight, but I'll leave a lurk. Probably be back later. No worries, Scott. Thank you so much again is really, really kind of you to recommend us like that. I appreciate it. Oh. Oh. That was... Ooh. Um. Thanks, Auto Drive. Crap, it's actually literally not going anywhere. Oh, okay. We're good. Okay, sir. I did it. Okay. Okay. I'm back. You got good taste if you wandered here to Hot No Village. Thank you, Aralar. Thank you, Greenie. <laughs> Our shop is all about style. Everyone who's interested in fashion comes here all the time. And we don't just dye clothes. We can do stuff with other fabrics, too. My dad can tell you all about it. He's got really good taste, so you'll recognize him as soon as you see him. Uh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Okay. Wow, I'd forgotten about this guy. If you were looking to add some color to your wardrobe, you found the right place. Hugh, do you do? Welcome to Kochi Dye Shop, where we live to die. If you have any dye ingredients, it's 20 rupees to dye an item. That includes our service charge, of course. Let's get going and dye your getup to... Huh? <laughs> That's a lovely paraglider you've got there. Nowadays, not only do we dye clothes, we also offer a fabric rework service. Bring me some fabric and I can rework your paraglider with flying colors. Ha ha ha. Good one, sir. You may be a first time customer, but that's fine. We have a special introduction to our new service for folks like you. Ta da, your very own introductory fabric. CC fabric. Tough fabric bearing a CC brand design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Have you dropped by Ventus Clothing at the village entrance yet? Cece, the famous designer who runs the place now, cooked up the cutting-edge design on this fabric. Every region has its own unique fabric designs. Keep an eye out for them wherever you go. Think of me if you find some new fabric, won't you? We can rework your paraglider with it for you to fly the skies in style. <laughs> Dying clothes to the color of your choice or reworking paragliders with some new cloth. Either way, it'll just take 20 rupees. This is your first time reworking a paraglider, isn't it? Is it? Don't worry, I'll do all the work. You just hand over the fabric and leave the rest to me. <laughs> oh my god, you're kidding. They have a launch service? 
Setting the fabric, ready to launch. That'll do her. Looking forward to your next visit. <laughs> now go out and paint the town red. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, that's a new building. What the heck? Ah, uh, that looks so cool. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Ramen. Help wanted. Apply to become a teacher. Want to show children the joy of learning? No experience necessary. Inquire at the school for more information. Prospective applicants are welcome to sit in on a lesson. Simon. Schools and libraries are not the same thing. I'm not sure I want to be a teacher. I would be a terrible teacher. I like the light on these pants. This is really good. Yes, yes, what is it? Oh, it's you, Link. I haven't seen you in... Link! You're back? Ah, oh, my apologies for the outburst. <laughs> Clearly you're back in town then. But what a Princess Zelda. You mean you don't have the patience and the ability to keep your emotions in check? It's my awkwardness that I'm concerned about, Greeny, not my emotions. I wonder if the internet has translated the Zonai language yet. If it's translatable, I'm sure they have. Uh, Princess Zelda is still missing, which is the reason you came here alone. That makes more sense. Princess Zelda built the school, you see. She cared so much about the children. I'm sure this would be one of her first stops as she had returned. Right now, we're covering history, which was very important to Princess Zelda. We're focusing on Hyrule's history alongside the Calamity. You know, Link, you're welcome to sit in on a lesson if you'd like. Class is from morning till noonish, so please stop by the classroom on the first floor. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. Hutna Village Northwell. There are all different kinds of teachers, you should know, yes. Trust me when I say I could probably be a decent enough one-on-one -on -one tutor, but a teacher? No. No, 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 no. No. And no. No village Westwell. Yellow choo choo jelly.
I taught middle school music in the mornings, high school band in the afternoons. I'd make it to day three as a teacher before I lost it and said or did something I'd regret. I thought I wanted to be a teacher before I realized that I don't like children. I don't dislike children, but I'm not terribly comfortable around them. Oh, there goes my fancy hammer. That sucks. Ow. Ow. Oh, is it that time again? It's the blood moon. Oh, that means everything's about to respawn on me. Damn it. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the endless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. Quick, go to Black Reach. All it takes to be a teacher, at least by college standards, is a bachelor's degree and a lack of ambition. Wow, Mr. Soggy Roman. Again. Hmm. Okay. That one wasn't so bad. Shield of the Mind's Eye. Those who can't do teach, and those who can't teach work at Walmart. I don't think that's a saying. few people to do. They've got some heckin' big caves under Hot No Village. Multiples, too. The one at Zelda's house. Plus this one, at least. Plus any more that might be around. Oh, crap.
Come on. Get it. There we go. Oh, there's... Man, there's a lot of seeds in here. It's an interconnected system under all of the town's wells. Of course you know people who work at Walmart. You know writers, and we absolutely do not support art in this world. That's true. Is that shenanigan stuff up there? Look at that. Giant bright bloom seed. Nice. It's my duty to hate non-productive artists. They're not making billionaires richer. <laughs> That's a whole debate, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I would say yes. Really? That fast? Okay. And in the U.S., horny is not an emotion. That's true.
Another one. Okay. I kind of don't want to lose the old shield, though, because these ones, I believe, are metal. Ugh. All right, fine. I'll do it. So, oh, I forgot to collect this. Ooh, actually. Put that on there. Okay. So, I think we're probably largely done down here, except I don't think I found the bubble frog, did I? There's gotta be one here somewhere. complex enough complex of caves that I've got to have missed something. Like that bomb, for example. Uh, let's see. Maybe I didn't. All right, let's go back this way and see if there was anything here. Ow. Well, <laughs> oh, actually, though, looking for more hammers for mining. I think that problem has now resolved itself. Uh, how do I get out of here? I guess I probably just descend. There doesn't seem to be a ground level entrance here. Okay. 
What else do I need? I guess that's the East Well. Well, if I'm looking for stuff to help me get through the um, the cold, maybe it's time we went and made our way over towards where the Gerudo live. Also, I don't think I've actually taken this road before. Oh, what's this guy? Ever mean? What? Is that one of the trees that comes to life? Hang on. A monster that mimics... It's literally a mimic. Wow. That mimics a tree found throughout the forest of Hyrule. So there you go, Greeny. You don't have to theorize that they're not real trees. They actually are not real trees. These imposters are hard to differentiate from the genuine article, making it easy for them to team up and pounce on unsuspecting passersby. Because the species shares characteristics with trees, it can be chopped down in much the same way. The ever mean, yes. Are they both ever mean? You are kidding me. Oh my god, they are both ever mean. That one's even got freaking apples on it. That he's just full of apples. Your theory is that they are something else entirely, but it actually specifically says that's what they are. They're not trees. When defeated, they may drop a wide variety of rewards ranging from beetles to golden apples to monster extract. Oh, that's cool. Hutno Village, Loshlo Harbor. Well, I thought you said your theory was that they're not trees. This simply confirms that. They are, in fact, not trees. <laughs> oh, 
Oh. Oh. Well, that's... That's kind of crappy. An Evermean with a beehive? That's just rude. Also, crap, what am I going to do without arrows? Oh. Let's see if we can slip past him in the air. Probably not. This is probably a terrible idea. <laughs> okay. It actually worked. Are they corrupt Koroks in your theory? Or those Deku things? Or the angry trees from Kirby? Or like weird choo-choo? Well, that's a weird thing. What might that be? Oh, that's one of those guys. Soylent Green is people. <laughs> oh, I should be able to ascend that. A delicious meal for the common people. Wow. as far as I was hoping. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, you jerks. Oh, they got me. I think knowing a certain people that like to disguise themselves as other things, you think they're Jaeger clan? That was pretty fun. I like that one. Baked apple.
Now, where's the last one? And is there a treasure up here? Oh, well, there's a chest. It's not one of the fancy chests, but it'll do. Lionel bow. Damn. <laughs> Moblin Guts. Hey, Winters. Was the apple baked before or after you threw a bomb? I assume after. It's hard to reveal yourself when you're stacked up to three high... Stacked up three high to hold up the tree facade. <laughs> Reasonable. Blue Moblin Horn. Moblin Fang. Oh, crap. They can't seriously be after me. Man, those guys have vision for miles. Literally. Oh, I'll take that. Oh. Oh. That's a big boy. Thought I would be back sooner, it's just good you're back. But they turned to logs and kindling when cut down, yes. I think that pretty much disproves the disguise theory. At least in the traditional sense of the word disguise. I mean, it's gotta be some kind of magical transformational disguise. Yeah, I love the shrines in this one. Greeny was saying earlier that he thinks they're a lot more entertaining than the ones in Breath of the Wild, and so far I've got to say I agree. I mean, don't get me wrong, Breath of the Wild had some pretty good shrines, but nothing like this. zonite do I have? Not much. That's all right. I like that fire attacks cook things too. I use a mod for that in Skyrim. Meats get, meat gets cooked when I hit an animal with a fiery arrow. Nice. Especially those shrines that remove your inventory. Yeah. They can be... That's, oh geez, that's what it is. Okay. Okay.
Uh, how do I get over there? I like that they put up the big smoke signal. I've noticed that before and never really looked at it in detail to try and see what it actually was. The new combat sh shrines are a joy? I'm always kind of let down when I get a combat puzzle, I have to admit. Unless maybe it's something really unusual, like I really like the Destruction Derby one. Get out of my face. How rude is that? Now, I don't think I can actually activate the Great Fairy yet. I don't think. Probably not. But let's at least see what's going on. Anyone calling upon me from out there in all that ugliness, you must be a monster of some kind. As if I'd ever give my blessing of clothing enhancement to one of you. I moved near the stable here so I could give my blessings to travelers. I suppose that if I heard something truly rousing, like the sound of a drum, I might feel inspired to come outside, but only maybe. Okay, fair enough. Little Twin Bridge. I'm just glad the combat ones that act as tutorials for neat mechanics. Yeah, well, sometimes those ones are good. Oh. Sometimes they're good. I just got really tired of them in Breath of the Wild, so I still have this kind of instinctive, oh god, is it's one of those just combat ones. Now, granted, the ones in this game are far more interesting than the combat ones in Breath of the Wild were. But I can't help the instinctive reaction, right? I suppose I could make myself a little boat. Do they have... They set one of these up here and they did not include sails. Are you kidding me? You love the Breath of the Wild combat shrines? I was just always constantly let down every time I found one, because even if you got an awesome weapon or piece of gear out of it, it was a puzzle that I didn't get to solve. And I always just really liked the puzzles a lot more. Yes, that's true too. They were very samey. Like, oh no, another guardian that needs murdering. Iron lump, ooh. That's got to be better than your average rock. Again, no, not one sail. Oh, 
I'll be back. Don't you worry. Not bad. Oh, what is this? What is this? <gasps> what is this? Hello, sir. Allow me to guide you. Welcome. On this land sits the sacred shrine entrusted to me. I believed my destiny was nullified when this land fell to the surface. It was therefore fortunate that I fell to this precise spot. I can still fulfill my task. What is that task? To give visitors in this land particular words of guidance. Give keys born of water to the three altars. The sacred shrine will appear. Heed these words and offer keys to all three altars to reveal the sacred shrine. Keys born of water. Interesting. Oh, and we have things and stuff. Frost emitter, flame emitter. I've never seen a frost emitter before. That's interesting. Another frost emitter. Okay, that's cool. But that one time when you came to a combat shrine with two guardians, the one with water on the floor or the one with metal blocks in the ground, the metal blocks at the ground, they were okay. I mean, I'm not saying they were literally unchanged every time. Why do they suddenly just give you sales now? Fine. I'll make a freaking sailboat. sail raft, I guess. <laughs> we seem to have a little bit of a problem here. Crap. Oh God. Oh geez. Uh, maybe a big problem actually. I can't make headway. Oh, okay, here, we're saved. Yeah, I don't think we're going anywhere on that thing. Oh well. If nothing else, I added it as an auto build recipe. So there's that. Oh, it was going to take me right there anyway. Might be just as well, all things considered.
It's an, oh, and there's an Octa Rock right there too. Let's see if it gets bonked. <laughs> That's a yes. Eleven arrows. See, I'm tempted to raid them just because I could probably get arrows from them, but now they're all the way across the river on the other side. We didn't even get a chance to give it the greenie treatment. I think it did the greenie treatment all on its own, honestly. That one just, it seemed determined. I have a second chance here. We could do one on this side of the river. Uh, better hurry, that one's got a mind of its own too. It doesn't even have the sail yet. <laughs> These things are not easy to launch, it seems. I'll just walk. I think it'll be faster. My paddle boat is looking better and better by the minute. I gotta say. You missed that, Winters, actually. I made the most amazing boat. It was truly a sight to see. No, it, it was a boat, Greeny. We didn't get a chance to crash it. It crashed itself before I even had a chance. right there. Actually, I think I can show you a rough idea of what the paddle boat was. Blah! You... I do... God... Show yourself. He's refusing to show himself while the camera's out. Oh. Damn it. Three minute warning on ads, by the way, guys. Another break coming up. Yeah, I was just thinking you could take advantage of that. Just keep your camera up while you back away and force it to stop attacking for fear of having its photo taken.
He is sketchy. He's got a sturdy stick with a lump of iron attached to it. A massive lump of iron at that. He swings it around like it's nothing. Brave the forest, even though we're likely to be attacked. Gotcha. Ow! <laughs> Rude. Oh. Low on food. Um, oh! I have three coarser bee honeys. That means I've got a quest I can complete. That's cool. I need to take my break right now, though. So, guys, I'm going to go take about three and a half to five minutes. If you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time. I'll be right back. I never really seem to have the time. I'm good. Can't hide from me. We'll detach a ship from our fleet right now to join you. We're going to have such an adventure! See you later, best friends. Oh my god, it's Guybrush Threepwood. <laughs> oh my god, look at that. <laughs> Even the rebound is impressive. Something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Letter from the Jarl. Moving up in the world, eh? That's it. Got to go. Oh my God, the timing. <laughs> This is why we save. Oh! What are you doing here? You're supposed to be dead. I mean, you are dead, but you know what I mean. Ah! Rude! Really? Burn 
burn you, asshole. That's one down. Oh, crap. <laughs> Let's see if I can stay alive on a scooter with no auto drive. Whoops. Whoop. The answer is no. I can't get much closer, game. Way to go, Pathfinder. As you plunge towards the base of the cliff, mommy escapes your lips. Way to go, wingnut. Once again, you've demonstrated your inability to sustain life. You quickly glance around the room to see if anyone saw you blow it. Thank you for playing Space Quest 2, Roger. You've been swell to watch. Have a nice day. And maybe... Oh, my God. <laughs> um, you okay, sir? There we go. Okay, I'm Isaac Clement. Together, we'll create the most spectacular dinosaur park imaginable. And hopefully not die in the process. <laughs> really, I don't want to die. I still say, though, that the Dark Souls games and Elden Ring and all them, this is the difficulty that they aspire to reach but haven't yet. Uh, the kitchen. I hope you're not planning on picking my pockets. That was weird. Gen four. Okay, I am back. Whew. Thank you, Aaron Lore. Oh, that's a big sucker. Wow. Oh, you jerk. I really do need to get some more food. Passing right by that pin I placed. That's my best theory on where we're going to locate another shrine. I have to keep my eyes out for that. Gatepost Town Ruins. Yeah. 
Nope. Let's just go through the door, Link. Oh, this is by the Colosseum, right? Isn't it? No, that's more here. What was this, then? Oh, that's the edge of the Great Plateau. Okay, got it. Okay, so right around that hill, it looks like. Oh, Addison, I believe, is it not? What's up, man? Uh, okay, well, let's talk to him afterwards. Okay, so it looks like this will be of use. We're going to drop that right there. And I need a post. Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to clobber you there. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Try letting go. Mm -hmm. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. Ooh, mm. He's standing. Ah. How's the president standing? Ah. That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. He's still my primary income source. One of these days I'm going to have to start actually selling stuff, I guess. Also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Bomb flower, nice. I'll take it. And with that, I'm off. There you go. Nope. Oh, do I have anything that needs... Nope, okay. guys fun okay two of these guys
At least the Aokutas are really easy to take down. They look big and scary, make a lot of noise. They don't have a lot of bite to them, though. talk to you hey hey there how go your travels huh. have you heard about the great fairy friend to fashionistas everywhere they say a great fairy blesses clothing with enchantments that can take the sting out of monster attacks if you want to see for yourself one of them lives on top of that hill to the side of outskirts stable Aww. right now the great fairy is locked up at her flower bud and won't come out frustrating isn't it one more thing to blame on the upheaval there you go cambo okay And just like that, encounter over. Oh! We haven't been to that stable yet, but that makes the position of the shrine right there make a lot of sense. Okay, so that's confirmed. There was indeed a shrine right there. Or very close to it. It's not quite the same location. Oh, and there's the fairy too. Look at that. Okay. Hot lid. Fairy was where the Breath of the Wild version of the shrine was? Maybe, maybe. I don't remember the shrine locations with only a few exceptions. Very nice. Oh. I was not expecting to find a character down here. This well. Water quality fair, moss growth extensive, bright caps present. Alright, that's everything all jotted down. <clears throat> huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course I am. I thought so. My name's Fera. I have a deep love of wells, too. A deep love? <laughs> wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. A little disappointed the character isn't called Timmy. Wow, Winters. <laughs> My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient text I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Well, well, well. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have any interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me any well locations you know of? I'll reward you, of course. Hmm. How does 10 rupees per location sound? Really? That's fantastic. All right, then. Tell me everything. Ma. Thanks. So 11 of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees per location. That's 110 rupees total. All yours. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to visit all of these wells. Let's see. How many left across Hyrule? Oh, there's still a total of 47 to find. Ah. You can find wells all over the place in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. <laughs> Just imagine, they were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Huh? Oh, I'm going to Lookout Landing next. There's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. Where are the wells? 
That explains why they keep a count and mark them on the map. Of course I did. You have to do that. It's mandatory, Greeny. It's absolutely mandatory. Is there no other passage? It's just this one room? Okay, that's fine. Or the two rooms, I suppose. Damn it, fish, get back here. Gotcha. What kind of streamer would he be? Exactly, Cobra Ben. How are you doing, Cobra Ben, by the way? It's good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Pun only semi intended. here. Hi. Welcome to the stable and get out of the dark. That's just common sense. This is Outskirts Stable, home of the Great Fairy Kesa. If you have a question about horses, you can ask at the counter out front. Or you can use the counter inside if you want to stay at the inn, of course. The Great Fairy grants travelers a blessing that gives them strong protection. Well, that's what folks say, at least. <laughs> Did you come to see the Great Fairy Kesa? Unfortunately, she sealed herself away after the upheaval. She hasn't come out since. Before that, she used to make an appearance from time to time. She's a big fan of music, you know, especially flutes. Mm. Why, when the flutist, when the flautist Piper came by, she would poke her face out of her fountain. It's been a long time, though. She sure lo loved that music group that used to pass through. I wish they would come by and play for her again. Ah, oh. uh, my apologies. I was just thinking out loud. Please make yourself comfortable. Okay, what's going on with this car here? This is begging for a repair. Oh, it even gives you a thing. I guess we're going to go to Gerudo in style. Hmm, I wonder if this tire layout is better than the one I typically use. Although, we do have to go to that shrine. Of course... These are materials that were here, so I can just rebuild it again. So that should be okay. Well, as other people, I see Gord flouting his knowledge of pronunciation, but will they let Twink in without the proper clothes? I don't know. Ah. We'll have to find out. What's the Lucky Clover Gazette covering in this edition? <laughs> great Fairy flees into Flower Bud. Yeah, so that doesn't sound good at all. A great fairy known for her love of music has hidden herself away in her flower bud. Nearby Woodland Stable is in a panic. Mm -hmm. I'd heard a musical troupe was heading to Elden in the northeast. 
I wonder if they're planning to visit Woodland Stable. I bet there's a lot going on there, too. Plus, there's a rumor that a great fairy would sometimes offer a blessing to visiting travelers. Hopefully, the great fairy near here emerges someday. I always read every word of these newspapers. <clears throat> hmm, this is new. The Lucky Clover Gazette is here for you. The Lucky Clover Gazette has opened its offices at Dorito Stable. Any eager new journalists are encouraged to apply. A stable is turned into a newspaper, then. That's definitely a change. I suppose if I'm ever near Dorito Village, I could pop over there and see what it's all about. I always read every word of these newspapers. I love how everybody who reads the paper thinks, oh, I should probably become a journalist. Yep, that's true, Greeny. But then my original car design is also saved with auto build. I went back to Akala and built it specifically for that purpose. So let me see, what have I got? Yeah, so that's the new car. Uh, oh, actually I can just check favorites. Yeah, there's, there's the design I used. It's got slightly wider spaced wheels. So I wonder, because the wheels are a little closer together, more in a square formation, I wonder if that means it'll be a little bit better with a turn radius. Be interesting to find out. Tsutsuum Shrine. You've never misnamed him once. Oh, God. The stakes guide you. I love the way this looks. This looks really fun. Okay, so we gotta get over there, which means we've gotta open that. There's a thing. Oh. Poof. Okay. Just don't miss with the stakes. cheated on this one? You can't cheat. It's impossible. Oh. Oh, okay. It left it there. That's actually convenient. You nearly got yourself stuck on this one? You can always fall to your death, exit the shrine, come back in, and reset it. Let's get a bird's eye view here.
Whoops. Hey, Bob, how's it going? With this one, doubtful. This one's all about the stakes. Oh, I forgot to grab that. Could use it, thank you. Might need that other plate back again. Okay. Maybe a little bit higher up. Where I can actually reach it. That's a bit awkward. So you have to do this pretty quickly then.
Interesting. Okay. Well, if it's kind of stuck in place, I guess I don't need these. Come on. Oh, did it? Ooh. No, I did not mean for that. There we go. Oh no, <laughs> not quite far enough. This is where you thought you stuffed it? See how that one works. There we are. Okay. That's not so bad. That was good. I like that. That's fun. On Epic a long while back, there was a free game called Cube 2. Did you ever get it? I don't remember. Very possibly. It sounds familiar. You ended up jumping the gap to Ultra Hand? Hey, if it works, it works, Cobra Ven. You can't really do it wrong. Long as you get it there, you're good. <clears throat> You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. You didn't do the stake thing with getting the ball into the track? It's fun, a full puzzle game that is compared to Portal. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to check. You just grabbed the ball. Well, I guess that works. Almost time for another stamina boost. So now we have to rebuild that car and we're good to go. Or should I say we have to auto build that car? Is that that same character that was around here? Oh, wait a minute. <clears throat> I reconfigured it. This is my original one. Kembo. Oh, this is the same guy. Yeah, okay. Aww. 
You still haven't gone for auto build, really? I'm curious now, though. Hang on. Let's reconfigure it to the other one. Um, where were you? There we go. Oh, it does drive a little differently. I think it's got a tighter turning radius. Hmm. Not sure how we get down into the Gerudo area by road. I guess... And it looks like if there is a way, it'll be this way. Addison! And fire fruit. Always need fire fruit. Ah! Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I will give him my full support as always. No wind or rain will get in my way. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. I really should redouble my support. Okay, so... That looks easy enough. Oh, they don't give you a lot for this one. There you go. Ah. <clears throat> Try letting go. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Assuming it's the same as Breath of the Wild? Probably. For the most part, the world is the same, even if the surface details have changed quite a bit. Ah! With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. <laughs> Veggie rice balls. Ooh. Sleepover ah. ticket. I still haven't used a single ticket. Maybe one day. <laughs> Follow the road south, turn right at the fork. Okay. Would love to meet Mr. Hudson. Uh, is he not in Terrytown? I'm pretty sure you do meet him. In both Breath of the Wild and this, actually. Where's your friend, little guy? I happen to have a car. My friend and I got separated. Oh. That's... Not exactly on my way. How does it look between here and there? Yeah, oh geez, we've got a whole river to ford between here and there too. I don't know. What is this? Is that... Is that gloom, or is that an indication that that's where the Korok is? I guess we can give it a try. 
Actually, I think this version of the car is a little bit easier to uh, to steer. That's interesting. <laughs> the Cobra the, put the Gorok on the wheel. That's a little bit mean. I'm only accidentally mean to Koroks. They probably enjoy it. Oh, it is gloom, and it's one of the wells, too. That's not good. Really? Oh, you son of a... Jerk. There you go. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Rewind is best for these guys? Oh, I never even... Wow, I didn't consider that. I'm surprised because that exact thought occurred to me with the like-like things. The giant rock worms. So why it didn't occur to me? Probably habit with the Octoroks, I think. Just because, you know, that wasn't an option in Breath of the Wild. It didn't occur to me in this one either. Nothing like a bridge that size to make you appreciate just how massive this vehicle is. Hello, who might you be? Oh, Cambo, you really get around. A Dorito showing Link an egg she just laid in. Link rewinds on the egg. Oh my god. <laughs>
I know. It's great, Sketchy. It means I don't have to mess around with silly horses. Okay. So you meant go this way, right? Into the Dalight Forest? Or do I actually go up into the Nima Plain and then up this way? In a post-ancient tech world, yes. It's like 99% of Final Fantasy. Or Horizon Zero Dawn, yeah. Uh... Well, we're going this way now. I can always backtrack if I need to. I want to go visit the Gerudo. remember how to get there. I didn't really stick to the roads very much in Breath of the Wild. The Moblin jumped out in front of me, honest officer. Yes, the desert people. I will say, this thing is amazing for off-roading. Careful, tree. Watch it, fox. I think we left them behind. No, that's the Goron. The Goron are near the volcano. Not today, tree. Or fake tree. False tree. See, I can even make a pit stop right in front of you and you still can't catch me. Also, this is a neat looking area. Oh, crap. Full speed ahead. Hey, get off my truck. Oh, duh. <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I that didn't occur to me. <laughs> Sheesh, gave me a little trouble there. Goes to show you've always got to stay on your toes. 
I heard the tree's a Yiga clan. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't believe that. I really don't. Gave me a little trouble there. Goes to show you've always got to stay on your toes. This is to show my gratitude. Perhaps you might find it useful. Oh, crap. She's speaking of Yiga clan. I'm still traveling the world in search of Misko's treasure. The rumors say there's a place hidden in a cave around here, but I can't find it for the life of me. Treasure hunting is never as easy as we seekers would like, is it? Oh, okay, maybe she's actually all right. But they don't transform and they drop tree parts. Yeah, I... I, I appreciate the logic of the Yiga clan theory. But, uh, oops. But I don't buy it myself. No! No! Get... Get... Back here. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh my god. There goes my truck. I, yeah, I just, I don't want to shoot and waste arrows. I know I can sometimes pick them up again, but. <sighs> you know what? No, damn it. I am getting that truck to the Gerudo. I worked too hard. Which is to say, I glued two parts on. These silly people divulging their secrets to Link, to Link so that he can find the treasure before them? Hey, I'm not going to complain. Hillians are very trusting people. Three minute warning, guys, by the way. Uh, <laughs> oh, great. Now we've got a version of the truck that's got a Korok on it. Actually, I think I like that version better than the one I made myself. So we're going to cancel that one and use this. Why do I need three? What? Oh, because I'm right. There we go. I like that you can move it around and take things into the uh, area of effect. That's very cool. Take this a little bit slow. Because as much as I enjoy driving this thing, it is awfully close in size to the width of the bridge. There we go. You know, when I started playing this game, I had just gotten used to having the Divine Beast motorcycle thing, and I thought I was going to miss it. I really have to say, I don't particularly miss it. The range of different vehicles you can make and the different types of performance they can get, it's really, really fun. 
Plus, I don't have to waste all my materials in uh, fueling it. Sorry, squirrel. I think he's okay. I don't think I got him. Oh. Alright, guys. Looks like it's break time. We will get back underway as soon as I get back. So if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it. And I'll meet you back here in just a few. We have relatively limited storage. And, um... We have 394 branches. That kind of sounds like a lot of branches. It had not occurred to me that branches are going to be the bulk of our firewood over the winter. Okay, so I'm dead. Right in the dome. I'm right here, sir. And or madam. We are really good at sneak. Where'd you go? Oh. <laughs> so, I guess those are the quote unquote dead Ewoks. I just don't use them very much myself. Oh. Wow. Oh, this looks so good. Oh, I love this. Maybe we need to sacrifice a little bit of cheese. You fool! You've given cheese to a lactose intolerant volcano god. Do you know what that means? You brought about the coming of the divine dysentery. Run for your lives! Nice. Wow, that was more spectacular than I'd hoped. Oh crap! I forgot! <laughs> Whoops. Uh. Oh, what's going on? That's not how you barbecue. battle <laughs> now watch the disc no watch the no watch no that's scared oh oh scared Uh, uh, okay. Clearly there were some areas they had... <laughs> okay, I am back. Thank you, Aranar.
Thank you, Winters. Thank you, Sketchy. Okay, where were we cutting off? That way, I think. Oh, right. Battery. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Ramen and Greenie. That upgrade clip has to be your favorite. It's pretty high on my list, too, I have to admit. Okay. Yeah, I recognize this. Gonna have to issue a citation for length. This truck lacks any oversized indicators or a pilot vehicle. I mean, you're not wrong, in fairness. supposed to be a cave in this area, right? With these hills being, or mountains being done the way they are, it could be at almost any elevation, though. It doesn't have to be at ground level, although that looks... Not down here, anyway. Maybe up higher? Are they just going to ignore me this time? Nope. Maybe not. Or maybe they actually are that oblivious and they're just not going to notice. Okay. Uh, let's, oh, do we have to rescue her again? Let's take a look at the terrain here and maybe stop a little further from the action. Oh, that's quite the drop. Shoot, how am I going to do that? job. Bokoblin guts. Spiked Boko shield. Tough pumpkin stew. Ah. I'm still traveling the world in search of Misko's treasure. Ah. The rumors say there's a piece hidden in a cave around here, but I can't find it for the life of me. 
Treasure hunting is never as easy as we seekers would like, is it? Now how the heck am I supposed to get my truck down? I mean, I suppose it'll actually survive even if it does tumble, but still. Where are those darn blue bunnies? I actually, I see them all over the place, and I've got to say, it's kind of rare that I actually shoot at them. I'm reasonably good at it. I can peg them pretty reliably, most of the time at least. I just don't find that it's really worth the effort. Probably would be. It would add up, I suppose. It just seems like a very small reward. I just have to keep in mind that it's, you know, every single one of them, so... After you've done 10 or 100 of them, that's a fair number of rupees. I think that's the road we want to be on, isn't it? This looks very familiar. There's a shrine over there, too. Okay, let's go. Oop. Uh oh. That's a river, not a road. That's a little awkward. And sadly... I don't really have anything of... Oh crap. Oh shoot. Uh. Ugh. Very rude, sir. I don't suppose there's anywhere to go back here? for me, isn't he? Oh, crap. The river's going the other way. I could try to turn this into Paddle Boat 2.0. I don't know if there's enough wood that's got enough buoyancy to actually make it work, though. Put the sail on your car. Uh, we've had bad luck with sailboats or sail rafts. Plus, this is a stone base. On the other hand, the tires do float. Oh. 
Nautical Disaster 2.0 taken off. Well, that's no worse than the first one. It's draining battery like nobody's business, and I'm not certain how far we're actually going against this current. We're going backwards, is the answer to that. <laughs> oh god. Come on, catch something. Go. Nope. 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 Okay, never mind. We need some augmentation here. What do I have? Balloons require a fire source, though. I think there's rockets, but that's a short-term solution to a long-term problem. I could try adding fans. I don't know if that's going to make much of an impact. And this is going to start draining the battery so much faster. Okay, it is draining the battery pretty horrifically, but we are making progress against the current now. Not much, but some. Oh my god, look at how fast the battery drains. Just had a Eureka moment when building a tank? What happened, Mr. Zoggy Ramen? That sounds awesome. Oh god, this is not good. Look at that. And now we have to wait for the battery to recharge and we're going backwards again. I'm gonna have to stick close to the side. Put the planks on the outside of the wheel. Oh, I think I know what you mean. I, I don't want to do that, though, because that means it's going to just break as soon as we get towards shallower water. God, the fans drain it so fast. Have we actually made any forward progress? I mean, I know we're moving a little bit forward. There is a battery propeller rotor in a shrine that uses electricity to run. It's literally faster to walk it, but then we have the talus to deal with. Thank you. 
I just had lightning strike a rusty weapon on the ground. Oh, I, okay. So the idea is a lightning powered airstrip. I'd be fascinated to know if that's possible. Problem with this, it's now next to impossible to steer. <laughs> uh, also, I'm now down to a single paddle. No, make that no paddling. No paddling at all. On the plus side, we seem to have escaped the Talus's notice. See, we can make pretty decent progress as long as we're paddling. just can't steer at all. Which, honestly, maybe that's an argument in favor of your idea of removing these wheels. Maybe I just stick them on the front. They're what the boards get bound on. Oh, crap. Uh-oh. I think I sunk. Oh, shoot, it's because the back end is now too light. Crap, okay. to be careful with this.
and we're all the way back here again. Uh... Actually, let me climb up on the back wheel here. These have to be low enough. There. Okay. Ridiculous contraption time. Yep, I know, Mr. Soggy Ramen, I know. Now the next question will be, will this enable us to move fast enough, far enough, that we actually make forward progress while the battery charges? Are we moving forward faster than the river drifts us back? I can't believe it hasn't broken into pieces yet. It's like a lumbering sea turtle. I think it's probably still faster on land than it is in the water, too. That's the sad part. Yeah, look at that surge in speed I get whenever I get close to the land and it's able to just catapult forward instead of pushing against water. I think that might be the only reason we're making actual forward progress. Okay, I'm gonna hop out here. I wanna see if I can get this over. Come on, quietly, don't wake up the talus. I just want to get across to that other side and see if we can continue on. Oh, you know what? Before I throw it back in completely, let me see if I can reattach this the way it should be. Come on, not on the... No, there. Now, now it's too high. 
I guess that's gonna have to do. Why did the Talus cross the river to link with its friends? Wow. Maybe the Octorok will give us a push. Oh, come on. Grab just a little bit. Come on. Come on. Steer into it. Come on. Okay, you know what? This might be close enough. I think... Yes! Okay. Snagged it. Oh my god. You're kidding me. Hey, Vera Johnson, I'm doing good. How are you? I am having fun with utterly ridiculous vehicle designs in this game. And I've got one wheel going backwards, so that's going to be fun, too. Okay. Back to normal. Oh, Addison, what are you doing here? Let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh my god. Long range mortar fire. Oh, sneaky. Okay. Let's see what we can do with that. Oh, actually, that's extra sneaky. It just occurred to me that it's out over the water, which is going to complicate the build some. Interesting. Don't mind me, Edison. Tricky. 
But you know, that might be all we need. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. It was rather hot out. Yeah, it's getting pretty hot out here, too. 90 degrees Fahrenheit a couple days ago. Oof. Yeah. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> Spicy veggie rice balls, nice. Okay. That was fun. I'll we'll just let that float its way down river. Oh, where's my ah, here we go. Okay. Oh crap. I thought this was a convenient on land way we could go. Turns out it actually kind of ends. We're gonna have to brave this uh, stupid like like worm thingy. This is gonna suck. Okay, maybe it's actually not all that terrible. But we did it! We finally crossed the river! And we confirmed that I have yet another paddle boat design that does not work at all. That's a very nice shrine, but if I go in right now, I lose my truck. But that doesn't mean I can't... Oh my god, Addison. Sorry. Oh, the fox made it. Good. Okay. Addison's here, too? What the heck, Addison? Okay. What have you got? That looks straightforward enough. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, yes. Actually, it is. If you've got the auto build, Vera Johnson. I've already got it saved as a favorite. Whoops. Do they give us any solid beams? The hooks are about as close as it gets, and that, I don't know if that's going to work. It's interesting that the complement of components they give you and the quality of them seems to differ pretty radically depending on where you are. I kind of like that. But at the same time, 
It's also kind of inconvenient. How can I make hooks work with this? I could chop a tree, but I don't think that's going to help, actually. That'll probably do. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I will give him my full support as always. No wind or rain will get in my way. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. What? Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Try it. Try tree murder. It sorely lacked in wood, while meanwhile America had quite a lot of it. Yeah. Your solutions are always so different. Really, Darkim, how did you do this one? Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. Addison never learns, it's true. He is not a naturally gifted builder. I still say he really should have gone into the chef business or the cook business rather than the construction business. His food is awesome. His building, not so much. You hung the hook from above. Interesting. Okay. Oh. <laughs> ah. Well, I mean, his reinforcement it's not pretty but it's apparently pretty solid Shoot, I don't know if I can really... I don't know if I can burn that away in the rain. No, not in the rain. Okay. This guy is really tempting me to try and put a roof up on my vehicle again. You, I could use the car to support it. There's no reason you couldn't.
Okay, it looks like the rain is actually almost done. Rewind on the Octorok? I probably should do that. You gotta get the timing right on that, though, because he's much higher up when he fires it than when he's just sort of waiting. Alright, go away, Rain. Where the heck are you? Still works, really? Okay, interesting. There we are. Oh, did I? Oh, shoot. Right, it's sunk into the water. I'll tell you what then. I don't want to lose my car, and I'm not sure what the despawn radius is, so let's go get some extra materials. Oh, it actually looks like the despawn is pretty decent, because that god-awful contraption that I stuck there is still the way it was. Ah, oh god. So close. Mostly worked. <laughs> Final Fantasy is not made by Nintendo, yeah. Now how do I get back on there without dying? Not that way. Okay, so I haven't gone in the shrine yet, but I've got it marked. It's on my map. It's a teleport location. We can carry on and keep the truck. Yeah, I suspect that money is not Nintendo's prime motivator. I mean, obviously, they want to stay in business, of course, but... Uh, 
they're not too worried about it. Yes, I can, Bob. But if I do, I will lose my truck, and I want to keep the truck. And the fact that it's now a teleport location means I don't need to worry about it. What's up, little buddy? Where do you have to go? My friend and I got separated. Oh, that's easy peasy. I'll get you there. Hmm. We're going that way anyway. You don't mind a little glue, do you? I swear it's probably not toxic. That's an Octorok dead ahead, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, maybe I am. Okay, nope, no Octorok. That is one very daring fox. The one that ran right in front of my wheels. Twice. Well, once for each wheel. <laughs> Whoops. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. I've seen some people literally just send them to their friend, just punted the truck. Yeah. Apparently people are trying to make ATSTs. I don't doubt that. This may be one of the two shrines. Well, then I will make sure I get it marked. Gassus Shrine, Tabantha Frontier. that slope, but this one? Nope. Definitely not. Okay. Okay, um... 
I can't tell if that's water or what. Where the heck are the Gerudo? Did I go the wrong way? I mean, that way's north. This has to be the wrong way. They're like way down here, aren't they? Three minute warning. Mean to be south, okay. Ah! Oh god. These things are huge! What the hell? Have a nice trip, guys. It's a shame. I probably would have got a lot of jelly from them, but oh well. Okay, so... Clearly we've gotten a little bit turned around on our long trek to the desert. Oh crap, I think that means we have to cross back over the water again. Oh, that's gonna suck. You know what, actually, if we're gonna do that, then I don't care half so much about keeping this because I don't want to have to drive all the way back and do that again. So I might as well get us ready to start this shrine that Greeny wants me to do. Maybe. Or you could warp back to the stable and start going south. That's exactly what I'm going to do, Cobra. That's precisely what I'm going to do. Uh, but we have ads beginning in just a few minutes. Holy crap, it's after midnight already. It doesn't feel like I've been playing for 12 hours. Uh, so I'm going to keep going. Why not? I'm going to keep going. And uh, I'm going to take a break. And when I get back, we will do these two shrines that we've marked. And then I will warp back to the stable. I'll rebuild the truck. And we'll get started going in the other direction. So, if you need to get up, grab some food or a drink or a snack, now's a real good time to do it, and I'll meet you back here in just a few. Wow, it looks so nice. This is so good compared to before. I'm just trying to incite violence between the trigger men and the... Oh, shoot! Not me! Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, okay. That, no, that... <laughs> that didn't work out quite the way I had hoped it would. I have a bad feeling about this. Where did... Where did that come from? You again? Ah. Dramatic much? Wow, game. There we go. Oh, shoot! No! No! <laughs> Damn it! It's a good thing I saved recently. I have loved this game for a very long time. We cannot fail. This weapon will be ours to command, and all of our enemies will fall before it. Ours, Captain? I think you overestimate your role in this operation. 
Simply put, this is a game of chess between myself and the other. We are the kings. And you, all of you, are pawns. Do I make myself clear? As Crystal Majesty, we await your orders. It's good to see at least one of you has sense, Inquisitor. Prepare to move out. I need to reach the central core and the other won't make it easy for me. Do your jobs and we won't have a problem. Fail me and the other will be the least of your worries. As you command, Emperor. Are wrecking my and crossing. Get the heck out. Look at this mess you made. Rude. I want the extra science, so let's go with that. I'll try for the hanging gardens. I don't think I'm going to get it, but we'll try it. This is definitely going to get up. Thanks, guys. Astrologists report that a devastating meteor will strike the city in the near future. Really? Residents should seek shelter immediately if any is available. A meteor strike has occurred. Yes, don't Avoid say. the impact site and head to shelter if any is available. Mass Effect is much bigger than just Shepard. Why does it do tricks? Uh oh. My, aren't you the clumsy one? Because of your inability to walk without falling on your face, your helmet. Okay, I am back. All right, bye, truck. We'll finish this one, teleport back to the previous one, and then we'll teleport to the stable. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Sketchy. Well-timed cuts. Thank you, Greenie. Okay, so they expect me to shoot arrows to knock things down in this one. This is a warm-up just to get you familiar with the concept, I suppose. Hip, hip, hip. 
It's not this one? Well, it seems interesting enough. So I'm gonna do it anyway. Large zone I charge, nice. Hmm, okay, so we need a key somewhere. That's giving us another box. Ah, uh, okay, I think I see what we have to do. There we go. You did this one last night? Nice, Dark M. Hmm, okay, we're not done yet. Now, next question. Can we pass any of this stuff through that doorway? is yes. Yes, we can. I'm not going to hold my breath, but it'd be nice if I could get these through, too. No, that's not happening. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Let's see what else we've got. Oh, good thing I didn't just go ahead. Let's see if we can't get this a little bit centered like. There we go. 
If you look at all of the digits of pi and subtract the digits of pi in another order, the solution would be a multiple of 9. Hmm. How do they know that? Okay, and now we've got enough to do another bit of my stamina wheel. Then after that, I should have the second wheel complete, like the second ring of the stamina wheel. And I can start taking hearts again. That's a good thing I don't have to walk through that again. Stacking a path. We have to stack a path, then I assume. Yeah, okay, so I need both of these. There's a general expression for any number, it comes from our base 10 counting system. Interesting, okay. I can buy that. Interesting. <clears throat> Missed it. Okay. Oh. Nope. 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 This is a fun one. I like it.
Didn't need that down there after all. Okay, so where else do we have to go? Ah. I assume that's too high to climb. Okay. Oh! <laughs> Whoops. Okay, well, it will still work. That was a nice one. I like that one. Very simple, very fun. But you have to remember about Ascend, otherwise you're screwed on that chest. Okay, that was good. So I guess we're now back to the stable. I'm actually a little surprised this one even had a puzzle. That whole watery thorn bush thing out front. I would almost have expected that would take the, the place of the puzzle. And just say, okay, you managed to get here. You're good. Take it. Go. We might take one pit stop before we go and return to the shrine, build our truck, and head south. I think we might go back to the landing, and I'm going to fill up that second stamina wheel. It was that other one? Okay. They were both pretty fun. They were both pretty good. It's at a point where I don't really remember which ones are where. I call that right from the very beginning, honestly. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. In exchange for four lights of blessing, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. No, I'd be pretty okay with that too, Mr. Sagiraman. I'm just a little surprised is all. Perfect. Two rings complete. Oh. Ah. Hi. 
If only you could, one could go straight through the roof. True. Actually, I didn't even need to exit, come to think of it. We're just going to the uh, stable here. Oh, well. Want all the puzzles? I know, me too. <laughs> oh, great. Now it's giving me the shrine puzzle things too. Great, okay, fun. I see now why they had to have a favorite system. So I guess we're going south of Mount Hylia. The question is... Do we take the road and then just turn this way and head that way? Or do we try to cross this way? I think we're going to try this way first, see how terrible an idea that is, and then turn around and go the other way. That's the plan. Oh. I want Vo, not Rain. Hmm. We finally managed to leave Gerudo Town and set off on our search for Vo. I wanted to pull put all of our Vo and you lessons to the test, but none of the Vo we've met have measured up. Oh. oh, that reminds me. Before we left, I heard someone talking about a Vo in the outside world. They called him a hero. Ah. A hero, huh? I bet he's a strong Vo who's taller than us, even. Okay, I'm going to take him out. You mean ask him out, right? Our class did cover how to be the first one to make the first move. Anyway, I'm sure it's possible to pursue the hero, but how would we even recognize him? Oh, the legendary sword. Now I remember. The hero is carrying the legendary sword. Okay, the legendary sword. Wait, what is the legendary sword anyway? If it's good enough to be called legendary, then it probably glows or something? These guys are amazing. Oh, maybe he's really tall. Taller than us, even if we're standing on each other's shoulders. Mm. Ugh, this sounds like a real pain. It'd be easier just to launch a surprise attack. <laughs> if we're really careful, we could easily sneak up on the target. Risa, you have to stop referring to Vo as targets. <laughs> uh. You gotta love them. Maybe I really should put the roof back on. Of course, now it stops raining. <laughs> might you be? Oh. Need something? Maybe you noticed the Zonai survey team uniform? Do they have a uniform? Okay. We do know this area pretty well since we've been assigned to investigate here. Since you asked or were about to, I'll let you in on some exciting oh. news. I heard from my sources that there's a big hole around here, what we call a chasm. I'm here to both to study said chasm and to get the word out so people don't slip and fall in. 
I suspect it's at the top of that wall, but there's no way to verify that without climbing up there. <laughs> Not that anyone will be doing that. Those are the large women. Considering the lineage of Ganon, who's the father? Well, you can probably assume that he himself is not his own father. I would be comfortable making that... That, uh... Making that claim, I think. Come on. Now it's a little awkward to see around. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I'll get used to it. There, see? Link gets to ride in comfort. No more rain beating down on his head. Oh god, that was sudden. Thank you, Winters. Hopefully it won't burn up. The rain should protect it, right? I'm trusting the rain will protect it. Oh crap, we already missed our turn off? I was distracted rebuilding. I know many fanfictions have shown it, but I love it when Link is able to cross-dress. <laughs> oh. I'm very sorry, sir.
another rescue. Or assist, anyway. Spiked Boko Shield. Whew, my heart's still hammering. That was a brush with death. You saved me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, take this. Sneaky Fried Wild Greens. <clears throat> you and I met back in Terrytown, didn't we? In front of that thing that dispensed Zonai devices? I'm pretty sure I saw you put stuff into that machine and get Zonai devices out. There's something similar at Dig... Dig Dog, really? Dig Dog Suspension Bridge to the southwest, so I thought I might go investigate. <laughs> if you're so inclined, you might want to go take a look yourself. You never know. It might contain different Zonai devices than the, the Terrytown one. Okay, that would be pretty cool. Coming through. Sorry, sir. Oh, we have guardians over here. Or uh, sentinels, I think they're called. Not guardians. Oh, God. Uh, hang on. Where are we? Okay, I want to stick to the road, which I suppose might be a little bit of an issue. Over here. Ooh! Oh, God. There better be a doggo at that bridge. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, I remember this. I remember this. There was a hillax on the big center island in the first game. So this is definitely the right route. I don't know if it's necessarily where we want to go if we're going to run into something like that again, but we'll see. Hey, buddy. If you're going to Gerudo Canyon over the suspension bridge, you better be careful. I used to have a stable in the canyon, but ever since the upheaval sent the weather all screwy, horses hate the place. No horses meant no travelers meant no business for my stable. I was ruined. I had no choice but to relocate and open a mini stable over here. But boy, do I miss the old spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're not a stable member yet? Let me fix that. Give me your name and I'll get you all registered with the stable association. Link, right? Okay, you're registered. Right, now let me start over. This is my mini stable. You got a horse question? I got a horse answer. Uh, I don't need to be a member of the stable. I'm not going to be using any horses, sir. I'm good. Thanks for stopping by. Come back when you can. Oops, almost forgot. Haven't given you your pony, pony points card yet, have I? He knocks, whatever. It's a name. I'm not good with names. Members who visit stables and use their services earn points. On that note, you get a point for using this mini stable for the first time. I am not using it, dude. I'm just stopping to talk to you. Go ahead and tack one point onto your pony points card. I don't want them. Take it back. So you get a point for each new stable you visit. Rest at one, pony point. Register a horse, point this guy up. Save up enough points and you can earn some mighty fine rewards. Not that this mini stable has got any of those on hand. You'll have to go to a full-blown stable to get them. See ya. Take care on the road. Me and my car will be just fine, sir. Don't you worry. Not in my game, Vera. 
Definitely not in my game. Uh, it looks like the uh, Hinox is no longer in residence. Something else is going on here now. Good morning. Oh, oh might you be a traveler? I'm camping here so I can investigate the giant ruins that fell at the entrance to Gerudo Canyon just up ahead. Oh. Rubble and ruins have been falling all over since the upheaval, but the ruins at the border are particularly immense. We've set up this camp so we can carry out a full investigation of that site. This area has a very harsh environment, but we make interesting discoveries every day, so it's worth it. Oh. If you like the unique ruins up ahead, you might also be interested in visiting Kakariko Village off to the east. The various ruins there are fascinating and definitely worth your time. Was there anything else? <clears throat> oh. Gerudo Canyon is a huge canyon to the south. It leads to Gerudo Desert, where you would find Gerudo Town. Mm -hmm. However, lately the days in Gerudo Canyon have been blisteringly hot, and the nights have been absolutely freezing. You cl you'll collapse before long if you aren't prepared to deal with extreme weather. For example, I've been maintaining a careful diet to help me deal with these extreme temperatures. Oh. If you want to know more, chat with the girl in that tent over there. She should be able to answer any questions you have. Oh. You should keep an eye out for other investigators or travelers. If you're going to pass through Gerudo Canyon, you may find others with useful information to share. All right. Oh. Apologies, but I'm headed to my post. Can we talk later? I suppose. The secret is... What would be a good breakfast today? I want everyone to start the day off right after all. <clears throat> Gord wants the stable association as much as he wants a fishing license. I'm a little annoyed that they forced me into it, actually. Oh, I haven't seen you before, I don't think. Are you here because you've heard about me? <laughs> well, it's all true. I'm the one in charge of keeping the members of the researching team healthy and happy. And I figured out the secret to keeping them energized. Want to know what it is? Uh. Of course you do, and I'll tell you. It's all about what they eat. When it's hot outside, you should cook up meals using chill shrooms. When it's cold, substitute sun shrooms instead. It's amazing how well the body can hold up to high or low temperatures if you've used the right ingredients. Well, want to try it for yourself? I'm a sure you do. Feel free to use this pot. All right. First, I have to destroy all of your gear. Sorry. Oh, nice. A little stock of everything I need. It's a shame I can't install air conditioning in this thing. Oh, there is a thing over there. That's pretty handy. Oh, Jeff. <laughs> Sorry, sir. Uh, God, I was afraid I was going to tip this over the edge. That was almost a disaster. Oh, he's still walking to his post. That's the guy that we wouldn't talk to us earlier. That's funny. Not very conveniently located, is it? Now, do I actually have anything I can dump in there is the next question. 
If it falls, jump after it and use recall. That's a good idea, Cobra. At this point, I'm more likely to forget recall than I am to forget ascend. And I guess I can use a few of these. Oh, that's a nice assortment. Steaks. A steak sounds really good. I already ate, though. Springs. Okay. Battery. Nice. Big wheel. Steak, battery, portable pot, big wheel. All right. Maybe I'll do another five. Whoops. Oh! You can give yourself extra power temporarily? That's... I didn't realize that. That's cool. Okay. Oh, nope. Oh, I like this vantage point a lot better. I can actually see. Steering is so much easier this way. Gerudo Canyon Pass. I hope they're okay. Hey! Oh. Sorry if I seem disappointed. I just thought our friends might have returned. Nina and I lost sight of three of our friends on the road in Gerudo Canyon. We had agreed to meet here if they, we got separated, but there's still no sign of them. The longer they're gone, the more worried I get. What if they're lost or hurt? Oh. They're experienced travelers. I'm sure they'll be fine. They probably stopped to rest in a cave or under some shade along the road since the canyon gets so hot during the day. Not to say they'll faster tra travel faster at night. It gets so cold they might have to start a fire to keep from freezing. But they'll be back in due time. We just have to be patient. Mm. I hope you're right. Disaster mm. in Gerudo Canyon. Good morning. Oh. Are you here to help us with our investigation of these ruins? Thanks to the extreme temperatures around here, we're only able to work a little bit at a time. The days are so hot that you'll pass out quick if you're not in the shade, and the night's just so, so cold. <laughs> really, the only thing to look forward to is Fenland's cooking. Her meals fill me up with enough energy to forget about the temperature. It must be some kind of secret recipe. Okay, I'm going to actually alter the design of this just a touch. I don't love this gigantic plate on the back. Sorry, man. I'm going to contribute this to your stockpile over here, folks. And I'm going to steal this instead. Make it a little more open concept while I still keep some of the defensive advantages. There we go. Be careful out there. There's been some abnormal weather beyond this point. Blazing heat during the day, freezing cold at night. It's dangerous to be in the area, though you can take some precautions to prepare yourself. 
To that end, I'm going to ask you a few questions to make sure you can handle yourself. If you aren't able to answer my questions, I will not let you pass. Oh. Well, ready? Oh. Okay, then. Let's get started. Mm. Question number one. How can you best warm up when it's cold? <laughs> Stay near a fire. <laughs> Correct, but the first question is the easiest one. Oh. This second question is a bit more difficult, so pay attention. When it is very hot out, where should you go to cool off? A nice shady spot. Oh. That's exactly right. I'm glad that you appear to have some survival skills. By the way, dousing yourself in water would also be a good way to keep cool in the blazing heat. Keep that in mind. Oh. Okay, question number three is very important and more difficult than the last two. What cooking ingredient is effective at fending off high temperatures? Oh. Exactly right. I'm impressed. Many have had trouble with that question. Ah. Last question. Where in Gerudo Canyon would you go to avoid being affected by the extreme temperatures day or night? Into a cave. <laughs> All right, you pass. With so much knowledge at your disposal, I'm sure you'll be fine out there. Oh, and you can take this with you, too. A fruit that contains pressurized water. Cooking out... Cooking... It brings out its ability to enhance swim speed when ingested, because swim speed is always a huge concern in the desert. Thank you. Oh. You can cool yourself down. Oh. Oh, that's... Okay. That's pretty cool. You can cool yourself down temporarily if you split one of these with a weapon and stand in the resulting spray. That's neat. You may pass, but be careful out there. Oh, there was a stockpile right there. I completely failed to notice. That's... okay. Whatever. Ah! What? <laughs> My roof! Oh, now how do I get this out there? Oh, sorry. I'm not trying to murder you, I swear. The temperature... Oh, oh, oh my god, they're not kidding. Ooh, boy. Okay. Um, I don't suppose they've got a cook fire... They don't really have a cook pot, though. They only have the fire. I don't want to run all the way back to where they had the fire. I have food for dealing with high temperature or low temperatures. Not really so much the high temperatures. Let's try... seems to work, although they're not wrong. That does seem pretty temporary. No more melee. Unbearable heat. Oh, that really doesn't last long, does it? It does a good enough job. Okay, we're gonna have to get into the shade. See, it's a good thing I've got the roof. 
Okay. It's not so bad now. Oh. What's up? Oh my god. Addison? You can't be serious, sir. Really? Ah! I guess I could even eat one of these, too. Lizalfo's Talon. Fire Breath Lizalfo's Horn. Okay, so that looks pretty simple. I think we're going to take one of these. do it. Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here, too. I've eaten a special rice ball, so this heat won't get to me. But I can't stand here forever. I've got so many more signs to spread around. I don't know what to do. Are you going to support him? All right, I'll let go. He's standing. Your vehicle is shaded, right? Oh, actually, you know, you're not wrong. How's the president standing? Ah! That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Ah. Why not just do this one thing that I know and you don't? Because you just said it yourself. I don't know. Ah. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> also, you must be hungry after all that hard work, right? Let me give you a little something I made myself. Heat resistance. Dude, nice. Thank you. Ah. Excellent. Ah. All right. Now, it is a good point, though. My truck is, in fact, shaded. So, in theory, I should be better off than most travelers in this area. Although, I am a little low on health, so maybe I should eat something. Um... I really need to do some just general restore your health and nothing else cooking at some point soon. Oh, see, I'm not always shaded by the roof. It depends on the angle. Oh, there's a cave there. Are those tumbleweeds? That's amazing. Do you want to? Nope. I'm good. Yeah. 
Whoops. Can you move the control thingy more into the shade? Well, the thing is, the shade really depends heavily on where the sun is in relation to the roof, and so it would just be a constant process of... Oh, what do we have here? It would just be a constant process of moving and moving and moving and moving it. Aww. You found me. I was sure nobody'd come looking for me all the way out here. Got split up my from my friends, tried looking for them, but then the dehydration set in and I couldn't move. Ugh, I sure could go for a scotch of... Splash fruit. Ah. Oh, I could kiss you right now. Thanks. Yeah. Ah. Ah. Now that's refreshing. Never in my life have I been so grateful for splash fruit. I think that now... Yep, yep, my limbs work again. I'd better go and meet up with my friends, eh? Thanks for the save, pal. Is the temperature fluctuating? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. The Gerudo Canyon Crystal. I could try moving it a little bit further back. Uh oh. That was not what I wanted. This feels very different than the first game. I like this, actually. Come on, a little more. There we go. There we go. Oh no, a Korok too. What's up, sir? Oh, whoa. Hang on. Oh, this could be a problem. Oh, look at this monster. No, get back here. No, no, get, no, get back, no. There we go. I wiggle the stick. And I just realized we have ads in progress. I'm so sorry, folks. I'll be back in a minute.
it's pretty amazing the difference the rain makes in the controllability of the car. What a time to say that. <laughs> Jump into target sector. <clears throat> Achievement unlocked. Explorer. I probably ought to kill that guy. Where are you? Oh. Up, Gerd. Oh, you're not up, Gerd. Vampire! Oh, that was cool. Oop. What are they doing? Feeding the poor guy to the crabs? Gracias. You got it. I wonder how bad it would be if I were to actually start the engine. Ah. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so now I've got this variant as well. And I kind of wonder, actually... This seems like it might be a more practical design for this area. Hmm. Probably easier to adapt mine by just rearranging, reconfiguring the wheels. Suddenly it's gold. Man, they're not kidding about this area. That was weird. I don't think I can take these apart. Well, even if I can't do that, I have lots of these. Okay. I'm gonna need these. My friend and I got separated. 
Well, that's hopefully not too bad. Thank you, Erinor. I don't remember a river here in the first game. Thank you, Greeny. Let's see if I immediately found her. Okay, this is actually pretty badass. I like this. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Yeah. Gonna go prep, then go sleep sounds. Good, Bob. Have a fantastic evening. Oh. Oh, is it? Oh, it's that time again. Okay. I'm wondering if that counts as one zone eyepiece. When the glow of the blood-stained moon shines upon the land, the aimless spirits of slain monsters return to flesh. The world is threatened once again. I know I say it every time, but I really, really, really love that blood moon warning. It actually gives me shivers. Oh my god, this thing is now a monster. This is really good. Along between wonks? Wow. Well, that's the idea. Or at least to unlock the path so I can get back there again whenever I need to. Uh, come on. There we go. Oh no! Did it get rid of my beautiful truck? Damn it. You should see them with the springs under the tires? Nice. You haven't even made it to Gerudo Town in your playthrough? Actually, just gonna do one thing real quick here and reattach the wheel so that I have it without the crystal in my quick build or auto build. Okay, I don't want to go in just yet. We'll do the same thing we did with the other two. I've got it marked. I can teleport back when I need to. 
for now. I think we're good. Oh, shoot. It's... Oh. That looks a lot deeper. Man, they're not making this easy, are they? I have six tires on this thing. That's got to be buoyant enough, right? What's the worst that could happen? That's apparently the worst that can happen. It just doesn't work at all. A game crash? Don't even say that. I haven't thought once about the game crashing. suppose anybody happens to know how it determines whether a vehicle is operable in water. Is it because the control surface is under water, I wonder? Because I could put it on the roof and stand up there. Of course, I don't think that would make it actually function any better. I didn't really have any ability to steer the thing. Because, you know, stone floats well. I was thinking more that the tires themselves have a certain amount of buoyancy. And I was hoping it was enough to keep the rest of the car afloat. Because it was enough to keep the rest of the car afloat earlier. I could always try ditching the walls and the roof. That would get rid of my shade, though, which is not really great. I think I might just have to go on without it, which means I might as well... I might as well... go here. Raru's Blessing. Oh, man. Well, okay. I lost my car for this. Mighty Zonite Longsword.
You've done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. Halfway to another, uh, to our first heart in a little while, actually. May the light of blessing grant you the strength you seek. So, yeah, it's possible there is another route. I would say it's likely there is another route, but... <sighs> well, you know, even if I can't have that specific car, we did find that other six-wheeled vehicle with the control stick not very far back. Maybe we can go search for the other car that way, or the other route that way. That's it right there, actually. So there you go. It won't have shade, which kind of sucks, but maybe we'll find a way to build that back up onto it again, too. Be sure to read the descriptions of weapons. I'm not too worried about it. I mean, I will, of course, but I'm not going to make a point of it right now or anything. As for the question that came up earlier about whether this is considered to be one piece, that's a very good question. I kind of doubt it, but let's see. Nope, it definitely is not. That is more than one piece. That's a lot more than one piece. Ooh. The wheels act as an effective guard against the flames. That's good to know. So this is cover. Thank you. 
Gotcha. Traveler's Claymore. And we have a nice weapon. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Okay, so there's a cave down there we can explore. There may not be another route. Oh, I'm sure there is. I don't know if it's a vehicle drivable route. You see what I see here? I see building supplies. Man, the shade makes such a difference. Also, look at that up there. Oh my god, there's another Korok. Oh jeez, okay. Oh, wait. Right. I can't detach most of these wheels. Okay. So this is a slightly less customizable version of the vehicle. But that's okay. We'll make it work. Right, okay. This is actually a problem building. Oh man. They're serious about staying in the shade. Okay, there we go. Just do the best I can, I guess. It's gonna be a little jankier than usual. Yeah, even being in the shade of this stuff, it helps. So for purposes here, building this, oh man, okay, you know what, get over here. Even if it hinders my visibility a little bit, I'm going to build just full complete cover. I know there's infinite routes. Yeah, you may need to sacrifice the wagon. I think you mean the shade wagon, honestly. That is its most valuable trade out here.
Shade does make it comfortable, that is true. this way it is pretty awkward to try oh interesting that they would put those there Is this a traveler walking in this weather? Oh crap. And by those enemies? Sorry, guy. Oh shoot. Sorry, you're on your own. I'm in a very flammable container. tail, right? Looks like it. And they wouldn't say no to the shade, you know, because of the implication. Wow. Seven oh five PM, it's gonna start getting pretty cool again soon. starting to get there. Oh my god, Addison, what are you doing here? Alright, what's he got going on? interesting positioning here the farther out you go the more interesting this gets that's gonna be tricky to support oh there we are just because of the terrain he's underneath and they've limited our supplies as well look at this Oh, no, never mind. There's actually two of them. Okay, there's quite a few supplies. That's not so terrible. Let's grab one of these. I might need to relocate my truck, though. Just 
Put you there for now. Probably fine. Sorry, Edison. I needed the height. You know what? I think that might actually do it. I think that'll do it. Ah! Wasn't quite what I had in mind, but it should work. Mm -hmm. All right. How are we looking? He's standing. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Ah! Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Whoa. Thank you, Mr. Soggy Ramen. I appreciate it. The Jawas had the right idea all along. <laughs> and now nobody can see that sign after all that effort. I hope this has clearance to fit through there. Now I'm finding I actually want the camera outside. I see a shrine down there. I wonder if that's the one we were at just earlier. It looks like there's a doorway on it, so maybe it is. Who's 
this? Is that a monster? Is that a person? It's a Goron! I wish I had wings. Oh! Good evening, or as the Gerudo say in their language, Sav Sabah. I made sure to commit that to memory. Oh. The cliffs around here are so high, I'll have to take the long way around. I wish I had wings like the Rito do. It'd be so easy to just fly over the cliffs then. Oh my god, Addison again. <laughs> Take a dual look, actually. I want to see down here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's definitely the shrine that we had already been to. We're just going along the same path, but we're up above. Which means we're kind of just putting off the inevitable. We're still going to have to get rid of the, the truck at some point. This dude definitely puts the spam in advertising. You are not wrong. Oh. That's heat resistance. Let's do that one. Oh, I should have kept those. Those were two-star resistance. I could have used those on my next attempt at going to the one mountain. Crap. Oh, well. Maybe I didn't need to. Hang on.
Hmm. Okay. Ah! Try letting go. Ah! How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. All right, let's get him secured while he's still standing. Ah. <laughs> he puts the ad in Addison. It's true. He does. Fighting, oh, no, wait, cold weather attack. Oh, well, okay. Thank you, sir. Now, who's this traveler over here? Getting things done early? That's a good idea. Uh, the swing in temperature from day to night sure makes traveling tricky. Preparation is the key. I always keep elixirs on hand that can heat me up or cool me down. Without them, I'd be done for. that that's a Korok waiting for a friend right oh my god oh Jesus do I have to drive across that Actually, I probably don't. Are we back in Yiga Clan territory? Did we not get rid of those guys? I don't trust this. There we go. Okay, we're through. What is this? They still have an outpost out here, don't they? I don't know if I'm going to get this through. Oh, oh, God. Okay. I might not be able to drive it through. <laughs> I could probably ultra hand it through. Oh, 
my god. Oh, this is so tight. I don't know if I can do this. Well, okay, I can do it this way. Oh! I could have done it that way if I'd survived the fall. <laughs> well. Maybe it's just as well. It carried us a very good part of the trip. Oh, hey, Rex. I have nothing to say to those not of the Yiga. Okay, there we have another shrine. That's actually really good. That's another teleport spot we can open up. Let's see what this one's about. <sighs> Hidden metal. Hmm. Oh, for electrical conductivity. My mind immediately went to Breath of the Wild's Magnesis. All right. That was it? No, that wasn't it. Okay, hang on. That's... huh. 
Oh, I bet I know what this is. Oh, actually, no, I think we do need to ensure a steady current, don't we? I was thinking we could simply rewind that and it would lift us up, which is great. This was, oh, you've done this one, Greeny? Nice. sure there's actually some conductivity going so how do we do that three minute warning by the way folks three minutes and I'll have to take another break this will probably be my last break. Oh. Hang on. spin again. I did, Greeny. I did.
Oh. It's that easy. Okay. Ads in progress. I'll be back in a few minutes, folks. I mean, I know I'm supposed to be the great hero of the liberation and all that crap, but come on. Sorry. For the founder. For the founder! There. Now it's a little bit convoluted, but traffic can come down here and circle around and get off here, and they can go anywhere in the city because they can go this way, they can go that way, they can go which way, ever way they want and they can cross over on the bridges. It's not the most elegant interchange. That would save a lot of space, but I like this design. Oh, I found my own echo. That's amazing. He's got so much reach. Holy crap. was the best. I'm just gonna leave that live grenade there. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot. <laughs> Whoops. All right. What do you mean you can't reach my frickin' location? Now you can reach my location, can you? You were stuck on one tiny little thing. The time has come. Execute order 67. Yes, my lord. No, no. Not 67. Order 66. Execute order 66. <laughs> God. Okay, I'm back. Well, that makes this a whole lot easier. Okay. Thank you, Aaron Lord. Thank you, Greeny. Can't quite reach, huh?
Ah, crap. Could just do that. I was gonna see if there. Oh. Hmm. There we go. Nice. 26. Okay, we can ditch... I have three of these. I don't need three of these. Another solution would have been to lose another hand so you get a perfect pair of the mechanical ones. Oh, man. What do you mean I can't carry any more... Oh, no, I got it. Okay. That was a good one. I like that one. Visitor to the Shrine of Light, that which you have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. One more, and I can get another heart for the first time in a little bit. Oh, and thank you, Aaron, Lauren, Greeny. I think I already said that, right? Maybe? I'm getting pretty tired. I'm not certain. Whew, okay. Oh, is it? Oh, it's getting on towards evening. It's actually getting cool out now again. As you can see, my husband is too sick to move. I am caring for him here. This is my fault. I wanted the two of us to have a wedding adventure that has now proved to be unwise. He has a weak constitution by nature. Once before, he collapsed from illness. A kind traveler helped me treat him then. I have since pushed myself to know the ways of medicine. It was only a matter of time before he would need more, more help. The return of my husband's illness is my fault, but I know what it will take to make to, to heal him this time. A medicine made from glioc guts. A gliok is a horrible creature that flaps across the sky using huge wings. I know there's one that flies over Gerudo Canyon, but attacking it would be difficult. I will need to prepare somehow. I don't suppose I'd happen to have that on me, because I've killed a few of those. Does not look like it, doesn't it? I've got Moblin Guts. I've got Bokoblin Guts. No Gliok Guts. Why can't medicine ever be like a donut or something? I know. By all rights, it really sh should be. Ooh, I'm running low on all of my good food. Oh, 
I did not want to do that. Oh, crap. She's got a fire, but it's not a cooking fire. Oh, the stable's here. Oh my god, Addison again? Oh, it's you. Thanks for your help earlier. I'm putting President Hudson here too. Uh... Okay... Do they not have anything near here? There's got to be something here, right? Gerudo Canyon Stable. Canyon Well. Yep, looks pretty deep. Will I ever clean all this up? Oh my god. You can't get in. Well, I needed more arrows. I'm sure they won't mind, will they? Property of the Stable Association, please do not touch. Stable owner. Oh man, that was my good axe too. Oh, um, good job banking it in here. Fancy seeing you up and about. Not the type to set with the sun, are you? I mean, it's impressive that you came all this way, but the stable has closed its doors for good. Thanks to this extreme weather, almost no one rides through here. We get very few visitors of any sort. Making things worse, Princess Zelda gave the order that everyone had to stay away from our well. But we need that water, not to mention the mushrooms that grow inside it. It's only temporary. It'll help, she said. I'll be right back to fix it, she said. And then she completely abandoned us. Oh, sorry about that. The sadness just gets to me sometime. Anyway, if you're looking for a place to rest, I recommend Karakara Bazaar. Just head out here, turn west, keep going for a while, and then you'll find it. It's a bit of a hike, but if you can find some transportation at the desert's entrance, you can get there in no time. Anyway, I'll get back to clean... Uh... Uh... All that junk is gone? I wasn't sure what you were up to, truth be told, but clearly it was all part of masterfully removing that junk. You saved me. Thank you. I sort of let the junk pile build and build until it blocked the entrance, which was a real problem. There's still some work to be done, but thanks to you, I can get out of this place. That said, given that I'm wearing the uniform and the stable is still standing, would you be my final customer? Yeah. Okay, welcome to the Gerudo Canyon Stable. You, sir, have the honor of being the very last guest, guest this stable will ever have. Just junk, yes. And that, dear customer, deserves commemoration. In the form of one pony point. I don't 
No, I... D but no! <laughs> well, that appears to be the end of my time as a stable hand. It's been a pleasure, sir, and I sincerely hope your journey ahead is a fruitful one. Now then, I still have a little more junk to clear away, so I better get back to it. Thank you again for all your help. <gasps> oh, I forgot about those. The Stable Association sent us those frames a while back. They just sort of got buried under all the junk. They're even nicer than I thought. Maybe a little art on the walls would be nice, just so the stable's final days don't have to be so lonely. P.F. Packed away. Complete. Exactly what you've been after, I know. They know me so well. Oh, this looks so different. What the heck? Wow. I can't help but smile whenever I've got customers, whether it's one or a hundred. It's not enough that the intense desert days and freezing desert nights have reached Gerudo Canyon. Thanks to that sand shroud, there hasn't been any business here at all. Aww. If you're interested in sand seals, then you're in the right place. Sand seals are animals that can cruise easily through the desert, and this shop is where we rent them to travelers. Many travelers embark on journeys into the desert only to discover how quickly their feet sink into the dunes. So if you're thinking of crossing the desert, you should make it easy on yourself and go sand seal surfing instead. Ah. Renting a seal costs 20 rupees, or if you're interested in a sleigh seal, a sand seal with a carrier, it's 50 rupees. I think I'm okay. Are you sure? The sand shroud has made crossing the desert even more dangerous than usual, you know. I will... Uh, hmm. Okay, where does he want to go? He wants to go... What the hell is that giant mushroom? Oh. Okay. Um. Well, that gives me a couple minutes. Let's see if I can get to the, uh, what you call it, the oasis in two and a half minutes. I know there used to be things down here. This is probably where the Korok wants to go. Nope, there's still things in there. Okay. Now what are they up to? Saba, saba. Mm -hmm. Another Hillian, huh? I commend you and those merchants for making it here under these abnormal conditions. <sighs> but the area south of Karakara Bazaar is covered by the sand shroud right now, so visibility is extremely low. Ultra! Yeah, I'm a little bit addicted to this game. How are you doing, Ultra? How are you feeling? I hope you're doing okay. Are you feeling any better? I know you were streaming a little while ago. I hope it went well. I hope it helped you feel even better. I know you were a little improved, but uh, hopefully it's gotten better than that. Thank you so much for the shout out. I really appreciate that. Then there are eyewitness reports of strange monsters. I won't think any less of you if you call off your trip here. Ah. Besides, this oasis is under the protection of us Gerudo soldiers, so you know it's a safe place to rest and relax. Okay, well, I need a teleport location before I call anything off. Karakara Bazaar. Saba. I'm okay, doing better. Excellent. Ended when my throat started feeling icky. Yeah, 
I don't blame you. That's a good idea. That was close. If the others heard me, they'd definitely chew me out for using slang on duty. Mm. My mentor has entrusted me with decorating a weapon in a stylish way. She told me to make it sparkle and that it must radiate burning passion. But I don't know what she's talking about. She's got an allergy to monsters, too, so that means monster parts are off limits. Oh. If I just had a weapon I could use as a reference for where to start, that would help a lot. Decorate with passion. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Those rations are for the soldiers. The sand trout is wrecking havoc on our supply of provisions right now. Sorry, but if you need something, check the shop. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's get that teleport location going. <laughs> Quick use Ultra Hand. We've already determined, though, that uh, with Ultrasaurus, Ultra Hand is actually just regular hand. Eating some dinner, lurking for a bit, no worries. I don't think I'm going to be on too terribly much longer. I don't think I'm going to make it until 4 a.m. tonight. But uh, this has gone pretty well so far. And we've got an incredible amount of stuff done. A sliding device. Okay. This is huge. I almost expect there to be enemies to fight in here. What the heck? Oh. What is this? Oh, Jesus. Okay. I start to understand a little bit. Hey, Shark, how's it going? It's good to see you. I'm going to need to borrow this. Jeez, there was... Okay. I didn't have to go and borrow that one. There was one right here. Well, that's all right.
Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um. Forgot. Okay, where else do I need to go? I don't want to thin it. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is tricky. Um, okay, you know what? Get back here. I could use one of those. Oh man, this does not want to steer easy. There's the chest, okay. Actually, that looks like it's fine there. Okay. Oh. Nice. How many do I have? 63. All right, so that's getting up there. Oh no, no, no! Oh no. Um. This actually is probably okay. Okay, back on track. Now we can try to get out of here in one piece. I like the sand skiff idea, but it's hard to control. There we go. Visitor to this shrine of light. That which imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. You have done well to reach this place. We offer this light that will cleanse you of evil. It probably would, Winters. Where it's not quite so fatal to have to step off of it and you can actually affect repairs in a little less of a time-sensitive nature. And there we go. Next time we go back, I can get another heart. Or next time I find a shrine, anyway. Maybe there's one at the bazaar these days? I don't know. Uh, 
All right, so how atrocious is the heat? Actually, it's not too terrible right now. It's only 9 a.m. Roasted bass. Last one. What is this? Desert Vaux Headband. Gerudo armor for males contains sapphire, which harnesses the power of ice to make the heat more bearable. Okay, if I can... I don't need much money for that. I just need a few rupees. <laughs> I sell one of the latest fashion crazes straight from Gerudo Town. If you're after the Desert Vaux headband, you've come to the right place. It used to be hard for Vaux to get their hands on it. Not only is what I sell a fashionable choice, but it's also great at staving off the desert heat. And even if you've already got one, why settle for just one when you could get another in a different color? <laughs> ah. I'm sure I've got some stuff that she'd be interested in. For example, rubies, perhaps. I've got like six of them. Opal, perhaps? <laughs> hey, I've actually got money. Not tons, but some. <laughs> ah. I'll tell you a super special secret that even most Gerudo don't know. Alright, I'm gonna buy it. You got it. <laughs> Since you were kind enough to buy the last one, I'll keep my promise and tell you that secret. <laughs> the headband you just bought is only one part of the Desert Vaux series. There's also a Spalder and Trousers. But you have to go to a special place to get them. Have you heard of the store Fashion Passion in Gerudo Town? Well, the secret shop is located behind that store. <laughs> Oh, now that I think about it, Vo aren't allowed in Gerudo Town. Forget I said anything. So that's still a thing, huh? We're gonna have to figure out how to get in. First the Sand Shroud and now Monsters, and all the young'uns are going around using that obnoxious slang, too. This must be what the end of the world looks like. If you think so, too, don't you, Vo? But I guess anyone who brazenly strolls into a place like this doesn't care whether they live or die anyway. Mm. I just don't want anyone to drop dead right in front of me. That'll give me some nasty dreams. Anyway, if you need any of this stuff, I'll sell it to you. Why not buy it all? It'd make my life easier. Mm. Just look to the sky. Do that and you'll see the, that eyesore of a lighthouse shining like a star of salvation. Life's about living, and you only get one shot at it, so don't go dropping dead on me, though. Okay, let's change into the new gear. There we are. Okay. Oh. I see a thing. Gerudo Bow. This Gerudo made bow is popular for the fine ornamentations along its limbs. Designed for hunting and warfare alike, this bow was engineered to strike distant targets. Kara Kara Bazaar Well. Okay, I don't really feel like going down right now. I do kind of want to investigate Gerudo Town and see what it takes to get in this time. I don't necessarily think that we're going to actually get in right away. It may be like last time where it takes a while to figure out the technique to it, but I'm sure it can be done. They went to the trouble of telling us about a store, right? Hmm. 
Man. Wasn't the Divine Beast enough? Now they've got something else kicking up a sandstorm. What is it with these people and their just zero visibility policy? Oh, wrong side. Looks like things are normal in Gerudo Town, hmm? No. Hey, what are you... Listen, this is the lighthouse of the bazaar. It's not a tourist destination or a place to play around on. Ah. That said, I guess it's fine now that you're already here. Go ahead and enjoy the view over the desert. After all, this is the only place in Karakara Bazaar where you can see over the sand shroud. Oh. Huh. So that's got to be Gerudo Town over there. Man, they're not kidding. Okay, so it's not just a spot out that way. The whole desert is, like, impossible to see in, practically. Whoop. Whoop. Yeah, okay. So, um, we're not getting to Gerudo Town today. Oh, this place is really expanded. Ah. They have ah. all the jellies. What the heck? A journey through the desert is dangerous, and a fully stocked pouch is the best defense. By the way, the counter in the back is the front desk of the inn, just in case you want to rest up before your travels. Mm. Um. Excuse me. <sighs> yes, I see you. Will you be using the inn? The regular bed is 20 rupees. The soft bed is 30 rupees. Oh. The soft bed is supposed to be better than the regular bed, I guess. I don't know. Try it for yourself if you're that curious about it. <sighs> Do you still need something? Oh, I almost forgot. <sighs> we thank you for your visit from the bottom of our hearts. Come back soon. <laughs> I think I remember her from Breath of the Wild. <gasps> you're a traveler, right? Do you happen to know anything about Luralin Village? If you haven't even heard of it, I can't expect you to know its fate. Luralin Village is on a Hyrule south southeastern coast. It's a small fishing town. I used to run an inn there until a gang of pirates descended upon us. I fled all this way with nothing but the clothes on my back. Oh. And what do I find out here? A terrible sand shroud and mysterious monsters lurking about. I don't know what to do with myself now. ZST, three big ideas. The Zonai survey team's three big ideas. The mysterious ruins that appeared due to the upheaval with strange dome-like protrusions were calling shrines. They are believed to be from the Zonai civilization, but exact details regarding these shrines are unknown. When observing shrines as well as fallen ruins, take note of their shape, the sky above, and the surrounding environment. Large holes appeared all over the world after the upheaval. They release gloom and are known as chasms. Gloom is physically harmful to people. Direct contact should be avoided. If the effects of gloom are making you feel ill, evacuate from the chasm immediately. Before entering any chasm, be sure to ask permission from Josha, the leader of the chasm surveys. We of the Zonai survey team were founded and tasked by Princess Zelda to study ruins in ancient documents. Through the lens of archaeological understanding, it is her hope that we will uncover the deep history of Hyrule. Due to the upheaval, many ruins from the Zonai civilization came crashing down from the sky. We have known very little of the Zonai, but we may now have evidence that their culture once flourished in the sky above. Our chief executive is Taro, the first individual in the world to find a clue to deciphering Zonai scripts. 
Our current surveys are wholly focused on learning more about the Zonai civilization. Research results are shared out to specialists at the base in Kakariko village. Are you also stuck here thanks to the sand trout? Ugh, is it ever gonna let up? I came out here to investigate the ruins that fell around the Dig Dog Bridge. But this intense daytime heat and the cold nights have messed with my skin, so I figured I'd take some time off at the spa. Huh? But thanks to the sand trout, I can't get to Gerudo Town. This is just the worst. Ugh. Mm. Okay, I'm fine now. I just need to turn this frown upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfurl my brow. Which I do, no sweat, if I could just take advantage of that spa plan. Ugh. There's a skilled esthetician in Gerudo Town named Roma. The fluffy beds here are great and all, but I hear Roma's spa plan is something else entirely. Apparently nothing else can make you feel as relaxed and refreshed as it does. I just want to soothe my poor skin and bone-tired body. Excavating at Dig Dog Bridge has been exhausting. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, I'm fine now. Just need to turn this frown upside down. No wrinkles, just have to unfurl my brow. If I read the three big ideas one more time, I'm going to start seeing the pages in my dreams. Had I known I'd be stuck waiting this long, I would have at least brought a real book, or a newspaper, or anything else. Ah. <sighs> Alright guys, I am getting very, very tired. Let's talk to a couple more people. I think I might have to wrap it up for the evening. Hi. Well, good luck. Dear me, I accidentally combined good day with the Gerudo Savak there. Perhaps I've lived here too long. Which reminds me, I've heard all sorts of new greetings lately, like Voda and Sava. Should I be using those instead? Oh. Another Hillian stranded by the sand trout, I take it? How challenging life without wings must be. The higher you go, the thinner the shroud gets, so we read Oak and Soar right over it. For us, it's little more than a sandy fog. Have you seen the thick layer of sand over the desert? That is the sand shroud. Should you be caught in it, not only will it obscure your vision, but it will also make your compass go haywire. Thanks to that updraft over there, however, this oasis is secure. I've never been inside the sand shroud myself. We Rito can simply fly over it. Oh. Be careful not to get your feathers rustled by the sand shroud. Good vork for now. Ugh, sorry. That was a little bit goodbye and a little bit savork. Look, you knew what I meant. Just take care of there. <laughs> I love that they're introducing slang into their fictional languages and that other people hate it. <laughs> These guys know... Like, look like they know what's up with the uh, sand shroud. Um, uh, do you know the sand shroud makes compasses stop working, right? You're not really thinking about trying to push your way through it, are you? It's even more dangerous right now in the heat of day. Just don't do it. Oh. It took years and years of regular visits, but we finally started to convince the Gerudo that they can depend on us. So please, I'm begging you, don't ruin it by causing any trouble or being reckless. Oh, what is this? <laughs> what? Ponthos? Isn't this orb great? I bet it's every bit as expensive as it is old. Apparently someone in Gerudo Town is investigating all these ancient whatchamacallits. <laughs> so once I get into town, I'm planning on finding somebody who knows their stuff about this stuff. Yeah, um... I, I don't know what your chances are, man. Hey, Savak. Mm, that was a perfect vibe, I do say so myself. Oh. Ah, I don't think I've seen you around here before. Good on you for saying hello. Who are we? We're the first men who will officially do business with the Gerudo, the Vogue Caravan Squad. If you too want to go to Gerudo Town, you would do well to make friends with us. Ah. We're a group of merchants and friends who have long dreamed of doing business in Gerudo Town. Oh, oh and Vo is the Gerudo word for man. Vo is the word to know. If you don't understand at least one word in their language, the Gerudo will never accept you. And we should know, we've spent years here trying to curry favor with them any way we could. They've finally entrusted us with protecting the western entrance to Karakara Bazaar. <sighs> That's what led a certain thief to try to conquer Hyrule? Nice. 
I've lost count of the number of times I've been swatted with the flat of a guard's spear. They mistake me for some lowly opportunist. Oh. Gerudo Town is located straight out of this gate. It's a town made by Gerudo for Gerudo, which means it's full of Gerudo. And to us, <laughs> that means it's a utopia. Oh. Captain, not so loud. You're going to give the Gerudo a bad impression of us. Hmm. Sorry, Robson. It just slipped out. Ah. <clears throat> Anyway, the Gerudo have a law forbidding males from entering their town. Keeping us shut out only makes us all the more curious, though. I mean, that's just common sense. <sighs> we were hoping to raise the Vogue Caravan Squad's likability by gallantly rescuing the Gerudo ladies from the Sand Shroud. But the Sand Shroud just doesn't block our vision, it confuses our compasses, too. We got lost in about five seconds. In the end, it was the Gerudo ladies who ended up gallantly rescuing us. Still, maybe if we prove our master as gate guards, Gerudo Town will make an exception and welcome us as heroes. Wow. Okay. What is that? Hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely not getting out that way. But we got the outfit part. That's pretty good. It's a start. Let's see what kind of produce they have here, actually. Lizalfo's tail, seared steak... Crap. Okay, so they don't really... Oh, she has stuff. Hydromelon. A cooling effect that when cooked increases heat resistance. Electricity resistance. A mild oil extracted from plant seeds. Very versatile in cooking and can coax flavors from ingredients used in many dishes. Also good for adding fuel to fire. Mmm. Not too worried about that one. Okay, let's head... Oh, jeez, we've gone such a long way. Look at that. But we've got a pretty good setup of... Wait, wait a minute. How do we have Lower Spectacle Rock Cave? Oh, right, okay. I think that's the one that I killed the Lizalfos in. I remember that. All right, we're going to go back to Lookout Landing, I think. Because I'm getting way too tired. I'm getting way too tired. I think I need to wrap up. It's after 3 o'clock. We're disturbingly close to the end time of my normal streams from ages ago. Which means, how long have I been on? Uh, almost 9 hours since I restarted the stream which was like six hours into the stream. So this is like 15 hours that I've been streaming and change. I think that's probably more than enough. And now we can get back there by teleporting to any of those shrines. So, that's a relief. You who have conquered the shrines and claimed their lights of blessing. Uh, no, this time we want heart. A rare item that restores some of the life force you lost to the gloom, increasing your maximum number of hearts by one. Go and bring peace to the world. Alright, guys. 
we're gonna leave off back here. So that I can rebuild that fancy wagon that we had. Or at least, you know, the four-wheeled version of it, I suppose. We'll have to go somewhere else and try to find another two wheels to add to it. But we're going to do that on... What day is it today? Sunday? We'll do that on Tuesday. I'm not going to be on tomorrow. So let's save this, and we're going to see if we've got somebody that we can go raid. Or just use Zonite. Yeah, I don't really have enough Zonite, though. I don't have enough Zonite. I probably need to get more of that at some point. All right, let's see who's on. It's actually a fairly short list, but Crystal Dragon 22 is playing some Diablo. Dan O'Tosh is playing Stardew. Adriosa is on. We haven't uh, been able to raid her for a little while since the schedule change. She's playing Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun, which I'm not familiar with. But I have kind of wanted an intro to the Warhammer universe. Maybe we should go visit her. Yeah, I think we're going to go visit Adriosa. She's been a good friend of the channel for a long, long time now. Oh, we've raided CD before, and we will definitely raid CD again. I think we're going to go with Adriosa tonight. I can't type anymore. I'm so tired. Uh, yes, okay, that's that. Let me just check her channel. Looks like she is still actively streaming. All right, guys. Oh, I'm not saying you would you would definitely have been there. I'm saying we've been there before. We will be there again. So if you haven't caught it before, hopefully you will in the future. That's all. Uh, okay. Here is the raid call here at the Library of Lore. We use, shh, it's a library raid. You've been bookmarked with the hard emote and the wave emote of the channel if you are a sub. If you're not a sub, you can use the Twitch raid and the Tomb raid emotes. In either case, sub or non-sub, please feel free to use any emotes you feel are fun and appropriate for a raid. If you have emotes of your own, if you've got emotes from another streamer, uh, if you've got maybe emotes from Twitch themselves, please feel free to copy the raid message, arrange the emotes you want to use the way you want them to appear. It'll all be good in my book. So let's get over to Adriosa's channel, see what she's got going on, see what this Warhammer things all about that I keep hearing about and have for most of my life now and I will see you guys over there and hopefully back here again as well on Tuesday for some more Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom so let me just copy my own raid message here and we will get things underway there we go alright guys let's get over there so I will see you Thank you so much for making this a ridiculously long and awesome stream. I'm starting to feel a little bit in my throat too, so we'll get over there. I'll see you back here on Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of your night, day, evening, whatever it is where you are in the world. I'll catch you again real soon. Bye for now.